Sabbath. Happy Sabbath, everyone. We're just getting set up. Sorry for the lateness. We got servants of Israel in the house to teach today. Amen. Sister Chanel said, Happy Sabbath, Happy Sabbath, sister. Mm -hmm. oh. Where are you sitting at, brother? I'm going to have to sit in the front row. In the man. front row. Happy Sabbath. Full house today. Oh, oh, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. I feel good. I got hair. Yeah, me too, man. We cut off my neck, man. Off oh, my neck. My neck bone. All right, so we're getting started real late. Sisters, cover your head. Brothers, uncover your head. We are about to open up. We are going to stand and face toward Jerusalem, which is that direction in here. <clears throat> Blessed is everyone that feareth the Lord. Blessed, Blessed is, is everyone that feareth the Lord. That walketh in his ways. That walketh in his ways. For thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands. For thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands. Happy shalt thou be. Happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with thee. And it shall be well with thee. Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine. Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine. By the sides of thine house. By the sides of thine house. Thy children like olive plants round about thy table. Thy children like olive plants round about thy table. Behold that that thus shall the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. Behold that thus shall be blessed. And be blessed that feareth the Lord. The Lord shall bless thee out of Zion. The Lord shall bless thee out of Zion. And thou shalt see the good of Jerusalem. And thou shalt see the good of Jerusalem. All the days of thy life. All the days of thy life. Yea. Yea. Thou shalt see thy children's children. Thou shalt see thy children's children. And peace upon Israel. And peace upon Israel. We we just read from Psalm 128, the entire ver uh, the entire Psalm verses one through six. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of His Word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we have servants of Israel, Brother Paul here to share the Word of God with us. Thank you, Mr. Shemel, since you can't hear. Shalom. Shalom. I turn the sound on. Okay. Ask her if it's better now. All right. Praise the Most High, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Amen. Grace, peace, and mercy to all the saints worldwide. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 So. Before we get started, the, the title, first of all, brothers and sisters, is House Negroes. <laughs> and you'll see why by the end of this lesson, why I titled it that. But before we get started, um, there's two things. So the first thing is that this month is Suicide Month, Suicide Awareness Month, I guess. Um, there's many people that commit suicide for many different reasons. Um, and we just need to be aware that this is going on not just in one particular month but every day there's people killing themselves and we know for certain that God is not pleased with this we know that uh, the Lord is a merciful God and there's some there's some children that are killing themselves from cyberbullying and all this type of stuff so the Lord is a merciful God but that's not the way out right and as far as us being evangelists called by our God when we go out and we witness we need to speak these things to people to prevent them from going that route because we're we're called to reconcile all the nations back to God, Amen. right? So, regardless of what a person is going through, we need to be com more compassionate. We need to try to help these people, right, to prevent them from even thinking about killing themselves. The second thing is, um, and I want to read some quick notes about this uh, title, House Negroes. Um, I thought it was pretty funny when I was putting it together, but. Um, Okay, so these quick notes is this. So, the, we're going to talk about it in the lesson, but boule, is, and some of y'all may not know what the boule is. The boule is basically, uh, it's a, a black organization. It's a secret society that most people don't know. Most African Americans or us Israelites, we don't know about it, right? And basically, they're gatekeepers. They prevent you from really understanding who's really in power. Right. They, that's why when, for example, when Mike Brown got shot, right, who came on the scene? Jesse Jackson, and Al Sharpton. These are the house Negroes I'm talking about. Right. And they part of the same secret society. So Boule is a Greek word designating a council of community leaders who advises kings. 
but most of us have never heard of the blue wave. So then you got to say, well, what king are they advising? Because they're not helping us. If how they helping us, and we don't even know about it. Right. See, it says um, their their actual name is Sigma Pi Phi. They were created uh, May fifteenth, nineteen o four. You can look this up. Henry Minton, A.K.A. the Grand Sire Archon. Now, if you look the word Archon up, it means demon. Mm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so it says uh, he was the founder of the National Blue Lake. Now they are worldwide now. This black organization, Sire Archon, is the the local head. So in your local state, right, or your city, um, Archon is just a regular member, like the Freemasons. You got different levels, yeah. right? Uh, Charles Wesley wrote a book uh, called History of the Book, I mean, his, the History Book of Boule. Carter G. Woodson wrote The Miseducation of the Negro and The Education of the Negro. Uh, the, there's other secret societies amongst the Israelites, um, such as the Guardsmen, uh, Lynx for the females, Girlfriends. Remember, they had a TV show called Girlfriends. Right. See, now when you think about the Cosby show, right? People, we, I know a lot of the old heads, they was excited when Cosby came on because it's showing black people in a different light, right? And the Jeffersons too. What you didn't know on a spiritual note is you never seen Cosby in his doing his profession. You never seen his wife doing her profession. They was in the house, sitting on the couch, playing with the children, right? They was part of the boule. That's the part they didn't show you. The Jeffersons too, moving on up. How we moving on up and we still in captivity, Israel? How we move on up and still don't know who we are as a people, right? It says uh, uh, you got the Masons. Now we know there's two different groups of Masons. You got the Scottish Rite, right. and then you got the ones that Israelites can join. And the Israelites that join it, they at the base level, they be thinking they got all this knowledge. Man, yeah, I'm a Mason. <laughs> we doing good for the community. They have no knowledge. They don't know what it's really about. Because when you get to the 33rd degree, that's when they tell you the truth. Yeah, right. You see. And it's a, they, they got one that's called uh, Eastern Stars. Uh, that's for the females. That's a female branch of the Freemasonry. You got Four Horsemen, the Snakesmen, uh, all these Greek fraternities, Alpha, Beta, Delta, et cetera, et cetera, right? On the college camp campuses, they recruiting young Israelites to join these Greek fraternities. Think about the names, brothers and sisters, Greek fraternities, right? So who are these people really working for is what we're going to find out today through the word. And we're going to find out it's nothing new. Solomon wrote there's no new thing under the sun, right? Yeah. So they had these same secret cult groups a long time ago. And now they just kind of spiced it up, right? You got uh, ADL and you got the NAACP, right? So I wanted to share those notes with you before we read these scriptures because we need to understand that we have a lot of enemies, both physical and spiritual. And it's not an Israelite thing or a stranger thing. It's a man thing. It's a human being type thing. These fallen angels are working behind the scenes to destroy as many souls as they possibly can. And they don't care how they do it. Whether they lie to you through the word, whether they lie to you in community, whether they lie to you with arts and social groups and all this, it don't matter. They using whatever they got, whatever tools they have available, they using it to deceive us and to get us to join them in the lake of fire forever. Mm -hmm. So we need to be vigilant and be on guard. So we're gonna pick this up in Isaiah 58 and verse one. Isaiah 58 and verse one. And again, brothers and sisters, the title is House Negroes because this ain't nothing new. Every time Israel went in captivity, you can be assured there were some house Negroes. You can rest, you can, you can bet your bottom dollars, the old folks used to say. So Isaiah 58 and, and verse 1. Go ahead, Brother John. Cry aloud, spare not. Mm -hmm. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Right. And show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. That's right. So let's go to John chapter 10. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm crying aloud. I'm not going to spare. I'm not, you know, you probably never really heard anybody bring this stuff out as far as who these people are and who do they really work for. We're going to John 10 and verse 11. Um... You know, the Lord said, show his people their sins, show Israel their sins. There's a lot of Israelites that send these groups that have no clue how corrupt these things really are. They're doing it because they've been tricked into thinking it's a good thing. And those are the ones that I'm targeting today. I'm not targeting the ones that don't care and they just, you know, they don't care about the truth. I'm targeting the ones that are the true sheep. Because as we know, there's true sheep of God in every 
whatever you want to call it, every idolatrous thing that's in the world, there's some of God's people in those things. And they're going to come out when they hear the truth. Just like when we were in crazy things and we heard the truth, whether we heard it through a man or whether God spoke to us in, in a different format, we came out. That's who I'm targeting, the ones that's going to come out. So John chapter 10 and verse 11. Go ahead, Brother John. I am the good shepherd. Mm -hmm. The good shepherd giveth his, his life for the sheep. Yes. But he that is an hireling and not the shepherd, mm -hmm. whose own sheep are are not, mm -hmm. whose own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming yes. and leaveth the sheep yes. and fleeth. And the wolf catches them and scattereth the sheep. That's right. The hiring the hire, hireling fleeth because he is an hireling and careth not for the sheep. That's right. Let's go to let's skip down to verse twenty seven. Go ahead, Brother John. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them. And they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. That's right. And then he goes on to say, the father who is greater than me, nobody plucking the sheep out of my father's hand. Mm -hmm. You know. Now let's go to First John chapter 3. Because like I said, the Lord said, you know, he said that he's the good shepherd. He lays down his life for the sheep. He gives his sheep eternal life. They never going to perish. And he said his sheep know his voice. That's key. Because these house Negroes know that. You see what I'm saying? They know that some people are genuinely just trying to be a part of some good thing or, you know, they got good intentions. The house Negroes manipulate on that or capitalize on that, right? Take advantage of these people and manipulate them. And what did the master say? He said they do it because they don't care for the sheep. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's why they come up. That's why Henry Milton came up with this thing. I'll let you in on a secret, brothers and sisters. This dude, Henry Milton, knew that he knew about skull and bones in the early 1900s. Now, guess what? There was no TV and no radio back then. So how did he know? That means somebody from skull and bones had to tell him about it in order for him to set up the boule around skull and bones. It's mimicking that just for, for the Israelites. See, so they, they manipulating this whole thing. But. Jesus said that the, the, he got the sheep in his hand and nobody's going to pluck them out of his hand, right? So 1 John 3 and verse 4. Go ahead, Brother John. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. Yes. For sin is the transgression of the law. That's right. And ye know that he was manifested to take away our sins, mm -hmm. and in him is no sin. So, the, again, I'm saying these things to the true sheep that are in a lot of these fraternities and secret societies. Look, the Lord died for our past sins to be forgiven. So you don't have to be a part of something to feel like you're a part of something. Amen. Join yourself to the Most High That's right. and get salvation. That's Amen. what you need to focus on. Amen. Let's go to John chapter 8 and verse 24. John 8 and 24. Okay, go ahead, Brother John. I said therefore unto you that ye shall die in your sins. Mm -hmm. For if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. That's right. So a sin is transgression of the law. And Jesus is saying, look, unless you believe in me, you're going to die in your transgressions against the law. Right? And we know what's going to happen. The end of the book told us. The beginning of the book told us too. Amen. Right? So that's everlasting torments and damnation. And that's not what we want. You see? So... Let's go to Exodus chapter 1 and verse 1 because now we're going to look at a prime example of house Negroes. I mean to a T. And this is exactly the same spirit that was on them back here. We're going to see it ain't nothing changed. It's the same thing that's happening right now. And we also need to understand that the true sheep of God that are in a lot of these places, they... A lot of times they don't have hope right they don't have hope that's why they when they hear these uh, when they when they see movies for example like uh, stomp the yard right they make it seem so cool in the movies like oh you stomping you part of this fraternity man get hype you know black colleges little do they know these same black colleges was created by the Jewish people you see you come out of slavery, Israel, and straight into miseducation, these colleges. Because the, the founders of the Boule, it was six of them. The founders of the Boule were all college Negroes, college-educated Israelites. But we know a little something about college. 
But you go to college, they redirect the information so that you don't get into the book. It take you away from the book. So that's why I'm saying these, a lot of these brothers and sisters that's part of these things on these black colleges or the college period that got these Greek fraternities, they don't have hope because they've been lied to. You see, that's why when we go out and we do what the master have commanded us and we preach the gospel, it can draw them out of that stuff. And then they'll begin to have hope in the Messiah, in the Son of God. And they'll say, man, I, I want to believe in the Messiah. I want everlasting life. I don't need to be a part of this clique. This like the bloods and the crypts. I don't need to be a part of this to feel connected, to feel like I got family. You see? So we need to be on our job. So Exodus 1 and 1. Go ahead, Brother John. Now these are the names of the children of Israel which came into Egypt. Every man in his household came with Jacob. Now this is physical and spiritual, even though our father Jacob is long asleep. But all Israel came back into Egypt. Deuteronomy 28, 68, right? Mm -hmm. On a spiritual note, though. Go ahead, Brother John. Keep going. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, skip down to uh, verse 7. And the children of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly mm -hmm. and multiplied yes. and waxed exceeding mighty, uh -huh. and the land was filled with them. That's right. Skip down to verse 9. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Mm -hmm. Come on, let us deal wisely with them, mm -hmm. lest they multiply, and it come to pass that when there falleth out any war, they join also unto our enemies and fight against us, and so get them up out of the land. Right. Therefore they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens. Taskmasters. Keep that in mind. Go ahead. And they built for Pharaoh treasure cities, Python and Ramesses. Uh -huh. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew, right. and they were grieved because of the children of Israel. And isn't the same thing happening today? Mm -hmm. Same exact thing. Go ahead, Brother John. And the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve with rigor, mm -hmm. and they made their lives bitter with hard bondage, in mortar and in brick, and in all manner of service in the field, all their service wherein they, were, they made them serve was with rigor. And it is happening to a T right now. Let's go over to chapter 5 and verse 5. Exodus chapter 5 and verse 5. And go ahead, Brother John. And Pharaoh said, Behold, the people of the land now are many, and ye make them rest from their burdens. Mm -hmm. And Pharaoh commanded that same day the taskmasters of the people and their officers, saying, Ye shall no more give the people straw to make brick as heretofore. Mm -hmm. Let them go and gather straw for themselves. Mm -hmm. And the tale of the bricks which they did make heretofore, ye shall lay upon them. Mm -hmm. Ye shall not diminish aught thereof, for they be idle. Therefore they cry, saying, Let us go and sacrifice to our God. Mm -hmm. let, their, let their more work be laid upon the men, mm -hmm. that they may labor therein, and let them not regard vain works. So, works. so we see who talking. It's Pharaoh talking to his people, mm -hmm. talking to the taskmasters and their officers. But guess who these taskmasters and officers are? The Israelites that set over the rest of us, the field Negroes. Mm -hmm. These are the house Negroes, right? Getting orders from the slave master. Come on, tell these people to get back to work, man. Because they're not listening, you know. And I'm about to start busting heads if they don't start listening. That's what they're saying. Go ahead, Brother John. 10. And the taskmasters of the people went out and their officers, and they spake to the people, saying, Thus saith Pharaoh, I will not give you straw. Right. Go ye, get you straw where ye can find it, yet not aught of your work shall be diminished. So look, your work not going to diminish. You're not going to get less work. Same workload every day you, is just going to be harder. And it's happening now on our jobs. Go ahead, Brother John. So the people were scattered abroad throughout all the land of Egypt to gather stubble instead of straw. Mm -hmm. And the taskmasters masters hasted them, saying, Fulfill your works, your daily tasks, as when there was straw. So y'all remember the movie Life with Martin Lawrence and uh, Eddie Murphy? Mm -hmm. Remember the house Negro in the movie? Mm -hmm. Oh, I get him, boss. I got him. Hey, boss, yeah, he hitting for the, 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 the dumb line, boss. You want me to go handle that, boss? Mm -hmm. These the house Negroes. Same ones I'm talking about through the word. Go ahead, Brother John. And the officers of the children of Israel, which Pharaoh's taskmasters had set over them, mm -hmm. were beaten and demanded. 
Wherefore have ye not fulfilled your task in making brick both yesterday and today as heretofore? Right. Then the officers of the children of Israel came and cried unto Pharaoh, saying, Wherefore dealest thou thus with thy servants? Mm -hmm. There is no straw given unto thy servants, and they say to us, Make brick. Mm -hmm. And behold, thy servants are beaten, but the fault is in thine own people. Mm -hmm. But he said, Ye are idle, ye are idle. Therefore ye say, Let us go and do sacrifice to the Lord. Right. Go therefore now and work, for there shall no straw be given you, yet ye shall deliver the tale of bricks. Mm -hmm. And the officers of the children of Israel did see that they were in evil case, after it was said, Ye shall not minish aught from your bricks of your daily task. Right. And they met Moses and Aaron, who stood in the way as they came forth from Pharaoh. Uh -huh. And they said unto them, The Lord look upon you and judge, <laughs> because ye have made our save, Savior to be abhorred in the eyes of Pharaoh, uh -huh. in the eyes of his servants, to put a sword in their hand to slay us. So see, here come these house negroes, mad with the servants of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Come on, man, why you why you had to say something to the master, man? Everything was kosher until you come along. You messing this whole thing up for us, man. And you're like, what? Do y'all see how they treating our people? You don't care? Right. You just want a piece of the pie as long as it's not you that's being afflicted. Mm -hmm. That's what this is about. Let's go to uh, 1 Samuel chapter 8 and verse... Four, we're gonna pick it up at First Samuel eight and verse four. I'm gonna try not to talk so much because we got a lot of scriptures, brothers and sisters. Uh, First Samuel eight and verse four. And go ahead, brother John. Then all the elders of Israel gathered themselves together and came to Samuel unto Ramah mm -hmm. and said unto him, Behold, thou art old. And thy sons walk not in thy ways. Mm -hmm. Now make us a king to judge us like all the nations. Mm -hmm. But the thing displeased Samuel when they said, Give us a king to judge us. And Samuel prayed unto the Lord. Right. And the Lord said unto Samuel, Hearken unto the voice of the people and all that they say unto thee. Mm -hmm. For they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me, mm -hmm. that I should not reign over them. Mm -hmm. According to all the works which they have done since the day that I brought them up out of Egypt, even unto this day, wherewith they have forsaken me and served other gods, so do they also unto thee. Right. Now therefore hearken unto their voice, howbeit yet protest solemnly unto them, and show them the manner of the king that shall reign over them. Mm -hmm. And Samuel told all the words of the Lord unto the people that asked of him a king. Mm -hmm. And he said, This will be the manner of the king that shall reign over you. Right. He will take your sons and appoint them for himself. So, so real quick, don't look at this. Even though literally we know we're talking about King Saul here, the first king of Israel, right? Mm -hmm. But look at this in today's time. Who the king that the Most House is talking about. He's talking about the same king of Pharaoh. That it's the spirit. So go ahead, Brother John. For his chariots... And to be his horsemen, mm -hmm. and some shall run before his chariots. Mm -hmm. And he will appoint him captains over thousands, mm -hmm. captains over fifties, and will set them to ear his ground, right. and to reap his harvest, mm -hmm. and to make his instruments of war, and instruments of his chariots. Mm -hmm. And he will take your daughters to be confectionaries, mm -hmm. and to be cooks, and to be bakers. Right. And he will take your fields, and your vineyards, and your olive yards, even the best of them, and give them to his servants. Yes. And he will take the tenth of your seed and of your vineyards and give to his officers and to his servants. Right. And he will take your men servants and your maid servants and your goodliest young men and your asses and put them to his work. That's right. Mm -hmm. He will take the tenth of your sheep and ye shall be his servants. Mm -hmm. And ye shall cry out in that day because of your king which ye shall have chosen you. And the Lord will not hear you in that day. The Lord said he not going to listen. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Nevertheless, the people refused to obey the voice of Samuel. And they said, Nay, but we will have a king over us. Mm. That we may also be like all the nations. And that our king may judge us and go out before us and fight our battles. So let's go to uh, Psalms 33. But we know that... The nation said these things to Samuel, right? Or the elders speaking for the nations, mm -hmm. right? For the 12 tribes. But look at that in a different manner. Look at that as these house Negroes, right? Saying to the Most High, look, we don't we don't want, you know, you to, to reign over us. Like he gave, he gave a parable in the testimony, right? 
uh, a certain householder, right? Mm-hmm. He had his servants, right. and they left them. They sent a message after him. We don't want you to reign over us, right? And we know at the end, the Lord said, "When I come, He said, bring those servants that didn't want me to reign over them before me and kill them, mm-hmm. right? Same thing will happen to these house Negroes when the Most High come back. See, they live in high off the hog right now, literally, because they do eat swine's flesh too, mm-hmm. right? When the Lord come, He gonna get them. And so they they tell him, Lord, we don't want you to be the king. We want to have a man king over us. And guess who their man king is? Hmm. We're going to see Psalm 33 and verse 16. Go ahead, Brother John. There is no king saved by the multitude of an host. So don't trust in man. Because it don't matter who you who your man king is that you trust and you love so much. Right? He's not going to save you from the most high. Hmm. Go ahead. A mighty man is not delivered by much strength. So it don't matter if you cock diesel like Arnold Schwarzenegger in his prime. It ain't going to work. Nah. Go ahead. And horse is a vain thing for safety. That's right. Neither shall he deliver any by his great strength. And we could replace the horse with tanks, your helicopters. It don't matter what you, what kind of militia you got. That's right. Uh, you got a hundred billion foot soldiers. That's going to be nothing to the Lord. You see what I'm saying? Nothing. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 2. Because now we're going to get more in depth. Psalm 118. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're right. Psalm 118 and verse 8. Psalm 118 and verse 8. All right, go ahead, Brother John. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. That's right. Let's Now let's go to Jeremiah chapter 2. Because now we're going to get more in depth with the Lord is, is telling us about these house Negroes through his word. Literally. And he telling us how they live, their mindset, and all of that. And I couldn't put everything in this lesson, otherwise we'd be here forever. But, you know, it's enough so we get the point, we get the understanding. It's not just about the boule, it's not just about the links, the girlfriends, and all these other fraternities. It's about the spirit that's over those things. The spirit that's over those things is leading people away from the Messiah. Amen. You see, that's why we need to be trying to snatch souls away from that stuff and warning them. If they want to stay there, so be it. We can't force nobody. But at least we could do is warn them and say, look, you need to be aware of what's really going on here. If you look at the logo of the boule, it's a, 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 a what they call them things, a scimitar or the, the half man, half goat thing. Centaur. Yeah, that thing. What, why centaur. Would, yeah, centaur. Why, why would this be your logo? If you for the black community, why would that be your logo? Of all the logos. Why, on, why, when you look at the, the six uh, leaders or the founders of the boule, why do it have a pyramid in the background? Why, if for those of us that know about some, some symbolism, right? Why would you have the cross, uh, crossbones in the skull? You see, if you, and, and their motto is, we, we're trying to do these things. We're trying to help our people, help the black community. How, when most of us have never even heard of you? Right. Where are you? We don't even know who you are. They don't even, they don't come out publicly and say, look, we the boule, right. you know. You got to find out through heavy research. You see what I'm saying? This is not, is the Most High like that? Nope. The Most High have revealed himself to the whole world Amen. through Israel. The whole world. He's not hidden. That's why Moses said, you, he told Israel, you ain't got to go up to heaven and say, who's going to bring Christ down? Who's going to bring the word to us? Or cross the sea? Who's going to get the word to us? It's in your mouth. It's very close to you. I'm not trying to ramble. Let's go. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 12. Go ahead, Brother John. Be astonished, O ye heavens, at this, Mm -hmm. and be horribly afraid. Be very desolate, saith the Lord. Now, what what are we supposed to be astonished at and be afraid? Verse 13. Go ahead. For my people have committed two evils. Yes. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters. Yes. And hewed them out cisterns broken cisterns that can hold no water. And ain't that what the house Negroes have done? Mm -hmm. They told the Lord, spiritually speaking, we don't want you to be our king. We want a man king. The the boule and all these Greek fraternities, their job, I'm telling you brothers and sisters, if you look it up, their job is to keep Israel pacified so that Israel don't rise up against the one who's behind the curtain. Mm -hmm. That's how come when we was watching in 2015, 2016, all these Israelites being shot down, choked out in the streets. Guess who come on the scene? Mr. and Mrs. Boule. Oh, come on, Israel. Don't worry about it. We're going to go to Washington. We're going to get some legislation passed. We don't need no no paperwork. We need these people to understand. Stop doing violence to your brothers and your sisters. Because all mankind is united, technically. 
but the boo lady and them, they want to come. Nah, nah, come on, calm down, Israel. Don't, you know, don't worry about it, man. Look, the, our oppressors, they love us, man. Let's, let's just, like they told Moses, come on, why are you messing this good thing up for us, man? We got a good thing going here. You want to you wanna mess this up telling Pharaoh, you know, the God of Israel is telling you to, I mean, tell him to let us leave. Come on, man. Let, let's just, let's just calm down. Wrong answer, brothers and sisters. So the Lord said, my people have committed two evils. They've forsaken me and they've hewn cisterns, broken cisterns that can't hold no water. Vanity. That's what this stuff is about. Uh, Ezekiel 17, Ezekiel 17 and verse 15. I'm trying not to rant. Please forgive me. I'll just carry on. <laughs> Ezekiel 17 and verse... I'm sorry. Yeah, 17 and uh, 15. Alright. Um, one second, Brother John. And like I said, the, the true sheep that are part of these things, a lot of them didn't know what they was getting themselves into. Right? So I'm not speaking harsh towards them. I'm just simply doing this message to warn them of danger if they don't come out of that stuff but the ones that's hard-headed and don't care and they like man look we know our our real goal is to protect the hidden hand you know and we don't care what you say like they told jeremiah right jeremiah said look the lord said if y'all run he gonna send a sword after you and get you they like look we don't care what you say the women told jeremiah look our husbands knew we was worshiping false gods and they didn't say nothing you see what i'm saying wicked it's wicked. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah, I mean, I'm sorry, Ezekiel 17 and 15. Go ahead, Brother John. But he re rebelled against him in sending his ambassadors into Egypt uh -huh. that they might give him horses and much people. Mm -hmm. Shall he prosper? Shall he escape that doeth such things? Nope. Or shall he break the covenant and be delivered? Nope. So that's what the house Negroes have done, though. They have went to e Egypt. Because who did, who, did, who did the nations copy their idolatrous ways from? The Egyptians. Because the Egyptians was the first one in contact with the fallen angels as far as the nation goes. That's where all this idolatry come from. From Egypt. The, think about the golden calf. Where did Israel get that idea? Right. Egypt. Why is Washington, D.C. laid out like an owl in one part? Why does it look like a six-pointed star when you look at an eagle's eye vision of it? Mm -hmm. Why Why they got the obelisk? Right? Why? Because they copied these things from the Egyptians. Even on the Sunday churches, on the top of the building, they got an obelisk. Why? Because it goes back to Egypt. So the Lord said, shall he send ambassadors to Egypt? Is he going to get away with this? With this evil that he's doing? These house Negroes? Mm. And think don't nobody see what you're doing. The Most High said, there's nothing here that will not be uncovered. Amen. You're here for a season. Now it's time to be exposed. So let's go to Galatians chapter 6 and verse 3. See, and the way that they entice, you know, these people that join these fraternities and sororities and all this is with money. That's why the Lord said the love of money is the root of all evil. Amen. You see, it's with money. The Lord said they, they bribe them with horses and chariots and all this. It's money. It's the financial aspect of it. You get a little wealth. You get a little prestige. You get to walk around boasting that you're a mason or you uh, a little Greek. Yep. <laughs> you know, it don't matter. It don't matter. Either way, it's corrupt. Uh, Galatians 6 and verse 3. Go ahead, Brother John. For if a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. That's right. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 3. And we're going to pick it up at verse 5. Proverbs 3 and verse 5. Then we're going to come right. We're just looking at a few little snippets here of wisdom. And then we're going to get back to understanding about these house Negroes and the mentality thereof. Uh, Proverbs 3 and verse 5. Um, one second, Brother John. All right, go ahead. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Yes. And lean, lean not unto thine own understanding. Yes. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. In all your ways, family, whether you Israel or the other nations, and you part of this corrupt stuff, all your ways acknowledge the Most High. Seek his counsel, his understanding. Don't do what you think is right. Amen. Because everything that we think is right in this little dirt brain that we got is wrong. That's right. If it's not according to this book. Let's go to chapter 23 and verse 1. 
So I say this especially to the Israelites that's joining these uh, fraternities and sororities. Look, when these people come robbing you, because we got to tell the truth, right? The truth will prevail. Jesus said you will know the truth and it will make you free, right? When when you, when we think, some of us watch sports, right? It's not a sin to watch sports as long as it don't become your, your false god, right? Amen. But when you watch sports and you see these college uh, recruits, right? Guess who be watching these dudes? The boo, right? you know. You know how I know? Because then when you see them get, make it to the big leagues, to the NFL, don't they got the brand on their arm? Yep. Branded like cattle. Yep. And then when you see them score a touchdown, they be throwing up certain hand signs. You're like, wait a minute, why? Why? What is this about? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, because they've been recruited by the boo lay in them. No understanding, though. They don't know what it's really about. I just watched a testimony last week. Larry uh, Johnson from the Chiefs, yes. ex-running back. Yep. Guess what? He just found the most high. And now he's very outspoken about the corrupt evils of this world. Amen. You see what I'm saying? Larry who? Larry, Larry Johnson. Johnson. Yeah. Running back with the with the Chiefs. He used to play with the Chiefs. Yeah. So when my point is when look, when these people to to the, the Israelites that's being uh um being uh what's the word I'm looking for? When they approach you, right, and trying to recruit you, pay attention to what the most high say. Uh Proverbs twenty three and verse one. Go ahead, brother John. When thou sittest to eat with the ruler, consider diligently what is before thee. Yes. And put a knife to thy throat, if thy if thou be a man given to appetite. Now this is twofold. This is physical and spiritual. You'll see why I say it's spiritual. Go ahead, brother John. Be not desirous of his dainties, for they are deceitful meat. Yes. Labor not to be rich. Cease from thine own wisdom. See how the most high leads he lead from the physical aspect. Don't be a gluttonous eating flesh. But he leads straight into the spiritual. Look, don't chase money. Yep. You see what I'm saying? That's what the boule and them entice these young brothers and sisters with. Okay? And these other Greek fraternities and sororities. Go ahead. Wilt thou set thine eyes upon them that which is not? Mm-hmm. For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle toward heaven. Right. Eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye, neither desire thou his dainty meat. That's right. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Mm-hmm. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. That's right. The morsel which thou hast eaten, shalt thou vomit up, mm-hmm. and lose thy sweet words. That's right. So, to to these Israelites, and I'm sure there's other people from other nations that are joining these uh, different secret societies, Skull and Bones, uh, you know, there's a whole slew of names, yeah, you know. Yeah. Jack and Jill's Club, um, you know, what else? Um, AKA. AKA's, all this stuff, right? Baby, they, I call them baby Illuminati groups, yep. right? Because that's really what they are. They devil worshipers at the end of the day. But the Lord said, be careful. When they, if you're in, in college or in, you at one of these black colleges or one of these prestigious Yale University or whatever, and they trying to, these people trying to come and recruit you, the Lord said, pay attention. Don't be a man given the appetite, meaning don't be listening with the, to that fool, that foolishness about money, because they make it seem so lovely. Oh, look, you'll be, you know, we can make you very wealthy. You'll be very popular. Look at, look at our credentials, and they show you the plaques on their wall. Don't pay attention to that stuff, because it's deception. At the end of the day, you gonna have all that money, just like Larry Johnson said in his testimony video. You are gonna have all that wealth and that fame, and you still gonna go home late at night and can't sleep. You still gonna have a void in your heart because it cannot be filled by, by nothing that God made on this earth. Money ain't gonna do it. Women and men ain't gonna do it. Only the Most High Son, only His blood can fill that void. Amen. So let's go to. We're gonna look at another example of uh, uh, these house Negroes. Um, Daniel chapter six and verse one. Um, and these particular house Negroes, and this is why I told you, it's nothing new. Right, these dudes here, they remember the Lord said in the book of Psalms that the wicked watcheth the righteous to and seek to slay him. You see, mm-hmm. so so the boule in them, these Greek fraternities and sororities all over the world, yeah, they be watching the righteous. That's why I told you earlier when when an innocent minded individual come and 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 be persuaded by them to join, they know that this person got good intentions, so they'll manipulate on that and capitalize on it, see how much money they can make off this person. Especially if the brother or the sister got some serious talent. You see what I'm saying? This is wicked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
at the end of the day, all this is wicked, man. Being a house Negro, being somebody that's very passive, don't really want to speak the truth because you're afraid for your life. Look, the Lord told us, don't be afraid. You see what I'm saying? He said he'll never leave us nor forsake us, even in death, right? We can we can fall asleep with hope that we're going to make the first resurrection if we do thus save the Most High. Yes. So uh, Daniel chapter 6 and verse 1 Go ahead brother John It pleased Darius to set over the kingdom 120 princes Which should be over the whole kingdom mm -hmm. And over these three presidents Of whom Daniel was first mm -hmm. That the princes might give accounts Unto them and the king should have No damage Right. Then this Daniel was preferred Above the presidents and princes Because an excellent spirit Was in him and the king thought to set him over the whole realm. Right. Then the presidents and princes sought to find occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom. Mm. But they could find none occasion nor fault. Mm. For as much as he was faithful, neither was there any error or fault found in him. Now check out what these house Negroes going to say. Go ahead, verse 5. Then said these men, We shall not find any occasion against this Daniel, except we find it against him concerning the law of his God. Ain't that something? They're going to try to use God's word against you. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, Brother John. Six. Then these presidents and princes assembled together to the king and said thus unto him, King Darius live forever. Mm -hmm. All the presidents of the kingdom, the governors and the princes, the counselors and the captains, have consulted together to establish a royal statute mm -hmm. and to make a firm decree mm -hmm. that whosoever shall ask a petition of any god or man for thirty days, save of thee, O king, he shall be cast into the den of lions. Mm -hmm. Now, O king, establish the decree and sign the writing that it be not changed according to the law of the Medes and Persians, which altereth not. So, so what thing do you see thus far, brothers and sisters? You see that the house Negroes is very subservient to whoever the king is. Mm -hmm. The king is the hidden hand. You see what I'm saying? And these house Negroes is working to make sure that people never rise against the king, even if the king is corrupt. Right. Go ahead, Brother John. Nine. Wherefore, King Darius signed the writing and the decree. Mm -hmm. Now, when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house, and his windows being open in his chamber toward Jerusalem, he kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed yes. and gave thanks before his God as he did aforetime. Yes. Then these men assembled and found Daniel praying and making supplication before his God. So they was looking for him. <laughs> Go ahead. Then they came near and spake before the king concerning the king's decree. Mm -hmm. Hast thou not signed a decree that every man shall ask a petition of any god or man within thirty days, mm -hmm. save of thee, O king, mm -hmm. shall be cast into the den of lions? Mm -hmm. The king answered and said, The thing is true according to the law of the Medes and the Persians, which altereth not. Mm -hmm. Then answered they and said before the king, That Daniel, which is of the children of the captivity of Judah, regardeth not thee, O king, mm -hmm. nor the decree that thou hast signed, but maketh his petition three times a day. They lying on the brother. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Then the king, when he heard these war words, was sore displeased with himself, mm -hmm. and set his heart on Daniel to deliver him. See, this was a righteous king. Well, in a way. But go ahead. And he labored till the going down of the sun to deliver him. Mm -hmm. Then these men assembled unto the king, and said unto the king, Know, O king, that the law of the Medes and Persians is that no decree nor statute which the king established may be changed. Man, look at these house Negroes in full action. Keep trying to tell the king, look, king, remember what you said, O king. Don't go back on your word, O king. But if it was one of them, they'd be like, oh, king, please have mercy. Please forgive him. He ain't know. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? That's what the boule and these people, that's what these fraternities and sororities do. Same thing. They keep the rest of us field Negroes very passive. They try very passive. You see, when you even when you think about Black Lives Matter, who started it? Did you ever think about it? You know, who's really funding this thing? NAACP, who really funding this thing? If it's for us, how come it ain't leading back to our book? Amen. Amen. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead, Brother John. 16. Then the king commanded, and they brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lions. Mm -hmm. Now the king spake and said unto Daniel, Thy God whom thou servest continually, 
he will deliver it. See, this this king, he has some, some understanding. Go ahead. And a stone was brought and laid upon the mouth of the den, and the king sealed it with his own signet, and with the signet of his lords, that the purpose not, might not be changed concerning Daniel. Mm -hmm. Then the king went to his palace and passed the night fasting. Mm. Neither were instruments of music brought before him, and his sleep went from him. Because he was concerned about the brother Daniel. Go ahead. Then the king arose very early in the morning and went in haste into the den of lions. Mm. And when he came to the den, he cried with a lament lamentable voice unto Daniel. And the king spake and said to Daniel, O Daniel, servant of the living God, is thy God, whom thou servest continually, able to deliver thee from the lions? Mm -hmm. Then said Daniel unto the king, O king, live forever. Mm. My God hath sent his angel yes. and hath shut the lion's mouth yes. that they have not hurt me. Right. For as much as before him innocency was found was found in me, uh -huh. and also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. That's right. Amen. Then was the king exceeding glad for him and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. Mm -hmm. So Daniel was taken up out of the den and no manner of hurt was found upon him because he believed in his God. So at the end of the day, we got one more verse, but at the end of the day, what's going to happen to the house Negroes, these mm -hmm. secret societies that have been lying on the righteous saints of God all this time and manipulating folks, what's going to happen to them? Verse 24. And the king commanded, and they brought those men which had accused Daniel, and they cast them into the den of lions. Woo! Them, their children, mm. and their wives, mm. and the lions had the mastery of them, mm. and break all their bones in pieces, Damn. or ever they came at the bottom of the den. Woo! You know what that means? That means total annihilation. Yes. Toast. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's why I behoove these brothers and sisters that's part of these things come out. Amen. Before it's all over, you better come yeah. out. Because if you don't, you're going to be partakers with them of their dis their destruction. Let's go to Amos chapter 6. We're going to read some more about these house Negroes. Because they ain't nothing new. And they got the same mentality. And they think, they because they're living a little good, than, they live living a little better than the rest of us. They think ain't no calamity going to come on them. We're going to see what thus saith the Most High. Mm -hmm. Chapter 6, Amos chapter 6 and verse 1. Go ahead, Brother John. Woe to them that are at ease in Zion That's right. and trust in the mountain of Samaria, uh -huh. which are named chief of the nations to whom the house of Israel came. Mm -hmm. uh, skip down to verse uh, 3. Ye that put far away the evil day and cause the seed of violence to come near, mm -hmm. that lie upon beds of ivory. Beds of ivory. Mm. Go, keep going. And stretch themselves upon their couches. Uh, lush. You know, they, they, the, I know the boule, they like to use that word when they talk about they picnics, mm -hmm. which a long time ago, if y'all didn't know, picnic really means pick a nigger. Mm -hmm. That's what it meant. That's why we don't say picnic, we say cookouts. That's right. You see? Just a little information. But the Lord said they lying on beds of ivory and they stretching themselves on their couches. One of the, one of their words they like to use describing their little parties and their picnics is it was plush. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was a plush celebration, you know? Yeah, it's, it's not going to last long, though. Go ahead, Brother John. And eat the lambs out of the flock mm -hmm. and the calves out of the midst of the stall. They eat good. Go ahead. That chant to the sound of the viol mm. and invent to themselves instrument of, instruments of music like David. They be sitting in their little parties that they have and legs crossed, got the violin music playing, the little nice little classical, and be sipping with their pinky finger out on their cup. <laughs> they think they're real fancy. But go ahead. They drink wine in bowls uh -huh. and anoint themselves with the chief ointment. Smelling good, looking good. Go ahead. But they are not grieved for the affliction of Joseph. You see what I'm saying? They don't care about the rest of us. Right. Us field Negroes. You see what I'm saying? They don't care. As long as they live in a little bit better than the rest of us and the oppressor is not cracking down hard on them, they don't care about the rest of us. Mm. Let's, what's that no, verse 7? That was the end of verse 6. Verse 6, go, uh, verse 7, go ahead. Therefore now shall they go captive with the first that go captive. Yes. And the banquet of them that stretch themselves shall be removed. Mm -hmm. The Lord God hath sworn by himself. Because ain't no one higher than the most high. That's why he can swear by himself. Go ahead. Saith the Lord God, the God of hosts, mm -hmm. I abhor the excellency of Jacob. He talking about these house negroes. Mm -hmm. 
He's saying, I hate y'all little fancy delicacies y'all got going. These little stupid parties y'all got going. Because y'all don't care about the affliction of Israel. Y'all not out here trying to help the people. You see, you're taking advantage of the people. Go ahead. And hate his palaces. Mm -hmm. Therefore will I deliver up the city with all that is therein. Now, I'm not saying there's something wrong with living a little nice. nice. But it's something wrong when you are saying that you care about your people and you live in a nice mansion amongst the very rich and wealthy mm -hmm. and you don't never step foot into the ghetto where the most of us live at. We will never see your face. Even the so-called black uh, uh, media or the newspapers barely even mention y'all name. But you're so enthralled with telling the rest of us, yeah, we care about the black people. Mm -hmm. We care about y'all. We doing all we doing to try to help y'all. You're lying. Mm -hmm. And the most I call you out. He said, y'all got nice beds. Y'all drinking wine out of bowls. You ever seen that? I mean, they living good. Mm -hmm. He said, you eating, you eating lambs out of the flock, the calves out of the midst of the stall. They chant to the sound of the viol. You see what I'm saying? The music be going in be like, oh man, this is, this is wonderful. They be using big words you never even heard of. <laughs> oh, this is excellency, man. This is fabulous. You know? Sad. It's pitiful. And the Lord said, therefore I will deliver. He said, therefore will I deliver up the city with all that is therein. These people are going to be destroyed. These house Negroes. You see what I'm saying? Let's go to chapter 5. So back a chapter. And we're going to look at verse 10. Go ahead, Brother John. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate. That's right. And they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. So all of us who are righteous saints, they hate us. Because we're going to call it like we see it and tell the truth. Go ahead. For as much therefore as your treading is upon the poor, mm -hmm. and ye take from him burdens of wheat, mm -hmm. ye have built houses of hewn stone, mm -hmm. but ye shall not dwell in them. That's right. Ye have planted pleasant vineyards, but ye shall not drink wine of them. Oh, I remember when I sent this interview, and if any of y'all wanted, I'll send it to you. This interview was a dude in a boule, or Archon. He was a bass member, right? Real light skin brother. And he, was, he wasn't telling the secrets of the boule. He was just saying there were certain things he didn't agree with. Right, this is back in like 99. And he said, he got real, you know, he real, real soft, you know, if y'all get what I'm saying. And he was like, yeah, I remember when we were growing up and, you know, um, we, we were growing up and we were having parties at Martha's Vineyard. And he kept on talking about Martha's Vineyard, right? And the way he was explaining this sounded like this is a place for the super wealthy, like the real rich. Right. You know what I'm saying? And he said, yeah, I remember when I was going to grade school and some of my classmates, they thought because I was black that... I must have understood what, what uh, Sanford and Son, what, you know, all the little sayings that was in the TV show was about. He was like, but when the Cosby show came on, I was like, wow, this is a, a TV show I can really relate to. Why? Because the Cosby's in them was boule. You see what I'm saying? That's how come this dude could relate. But the, the Lord said, he said about these house Negroes, they taking advantage of the poor. They taking our wheat, which is our earnings, because mm -hmm. we give to them in the name of doing good for the community. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? He said they built them nice houses, but they're not going to live in them. They're living in them now, but the Lord talking future. When he come, these house, I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, these house Negroes going to get it bad. And they're going to be trying to run, too, for fear of the Lord when he arise to shake terribly the earth. They're going to be petrified. Keep going. I'm not trying to ramble. Verse 12. Mm -hmm. For I know your manifold transgressions yes. and your mighty sins. The Lord ain't saved just your regular sin. Mighty. Go ahead. They afflict the just. Yes. They take a bribe. Yes. And they turn aside the poor in the gate from their right. Mm -hmm. Therefore the prudent shall keep silence in that time, mm -hmm. for it is an evil time. That's right. Seek good and not evil. Yes. That ye may live. Yes. And so the Lord, the God of hosts, shall be with you as ye have spoken. Mm -hmm. Hate the evil yes. and love the good yes. and establish judgment in the gate. Yes. It may be that the Lord God of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. So some of you Israelites that send these Greek fraternities and sororities, the Lord is telling you come out and he'll be gracious to you. He'll forgive your sins because you didn't know. You didn't know, So, but it's time to wake up and come out of this, this foolishness. Verse 16. Therefore the Lord, the God of hosts, the Lord saith thus, Wailing shall be in all streets, yes. and they shall say in all the highways, Alas, 
Alas, mm -hmm. and they shall call the husbandman to mourning, mm -hmm. and such as are skillful of lamentation to wailing. Mm -hmm. And in all vineyards shall be wailing, yes. for I will pass through thee, saith the Lord. And the Lord is not lying. We know that. He is not lying. Go ahead. Woe well, unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Mm -hmm. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Right. As if a man did flee from a lion, and a bear met him, or went into the house, and leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. Do y'all get what he's saying? The Lord said, when I come, he say it's going to be like, like, like you got away from a lion. Whew. All right, I escaped that. Then the bear going to come, right? And then you're going to escape from that. And you ran to the house and locked the door, right? And then you lean your hand on the wall and the snake bit you. And overall, the Lord is saying you're not going to get away from that. Your, your, your three and a half million dollar underground bunker not going to save you. That's right. You see what I'm saying? That's right. The Lord keeps telling us in the, in the Old Testament and the New, they're going to be running to the rocks to hide themselves when the Lord comes. People going to be running in their house, locking the doors, going into their tornado shelter. That's not going to stop the most high. Mm. They're going to be running to their bunkers, tell the security guard, stand outside and make sure nobody comes. The immortal just going to look at the person at the door and vanish and pop up in the dude right next to the dude like, yeah. I'm here. Yeah. You thought the bolts was going to stop me? You thought your security? This don't mean nothing to an immortal. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. 20. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, mm. even very dark and no brightness in it? Mm. I hate, yes. I despise your feast days, yes. and I will not smell in your solemn assembly. That's right. Mm. Though you offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, mm -hmm. I will not accept them. Mm -hmm. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts. Because they be praying and the Lord is not hearing them. Yep. Oh, we just want to thank the Lord for this delicate meal and... Oh, thank you, uh, Sire Archon, for putting it. The Lord's like, I don't, I hate that. I cannot stand that stuff y'all doing because yeah. it's not righteous. That's it. Go ahead. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, mm -hmm. for I will not hear the melody of thy vials. Remember, the Lord told us in the next chapter. He said they they got their vials playing. They be chanting mm -hmm. to the music. The Lord said, I'm not listening to that. <laughs> Go ahead. But let judgment run down as waters, yes, and righteousness as a mighty stream. Uh huh. Have ye offered unto me sacrifices and offerings in the wilderness forty years, O house of Israel? But ye have borne the tabernacle of your Moloch, and Cheum your images, mm -hmm. the star of your God which ye made to yourselves. That's right. Therefore will I cause you to go into captivity beyond Damascus, saith the Lord, whose name is the God of hosts. That's right. Wow. So we know that did happen, but we know they're going into captivity, but even eternal captivity. Which is the lake of fire when he comes. So let's go to chapter 8 and verse 2. Oh. Amos chapter 8 and verse 2. My bad. Good, brother John. And we're halfway done. Like I said, I just wanted to put this on the table because, you know, everything is coming to light. You know, I remember back in like 2012. It was still a, a kind of rare thing to really be talking about the Illuminati and Bilderberg and Trilateral Commission and Council on Foreign Relations. Things pe most people have no clue these things even exist and what they're meant for. You see, but it's all these these groups are collectively bringing power back to the beast. This system, Rome, and the Pope. You see, these Greek fraternities and sororities being used for the same thing. Recruit, recruit, recruit. Mm -hmm. More slaves to the lake of fire. Yep. You see? Walk in unrighteousness. Do whatever your heart tells you to do. Alistair Crowley wrote in his book, uh, Do as thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Right. Blasphemy. Mm -hmm. Called himself the most wickedest man on earth, triple six. This man, gonna, he going to bust hell wide open when, when the Lord comes. Mm. For sure. Now, we know the first two is going to be the Pope and the, and the, the military guy, but still, this dude, Alistair Crowley, he's going to be in there, too, after the, the Sabbath day is over. I'm not trying to ramble, but uh, uh, Amos 8 and verse 2, go ahead, Brother John. And he said, Amos, what seest thou? Mm -hmm. And I said, a basket of summer fruit. Mm -hmm. then, he sa then said the Lord unto me, the end is come upon my people of Israel. Yes. I will not again pass by them anymore. You know what the Lord's saying? I'm not going to preach repentance to them no more. I'm done. Mm. Because they won't listen to me. These house Negroes. I'm done talking to them. Go ahead. 
and the songs of the temple shall be howlings in that day, saith the Lord God. Uh -huh. There shall be many dead bodies in every place. Mm. They shall cast them forth with silence. Envision that. Keep going. Hear this, O ye that swallow up the needy, mm -hmm. even to make the poor of the land to fail, mm -hmm. saying, When will the new moon be gone, that we may sell corn? Ain't that something? Go ahead. And the Sabbath, that we may set forth wheat, mm -hmm. making the ephah small, and the shekel great, and falsifying the balances by deceit. Ain't that something? Keep going. That we may buy the poor for silver, and the needy for a pair of shoes, Ooh. yea, and sell the refuse of the wheat. Mm. The Lord hath sworn by the excellent excellency of Jacob, surely I will never forget any of their works. To my Israelites that's in these Greek and, and uh, these Greek fraternities and sororities, you got a chance. If you're not high up enough, you got a chance. Come out while you got time, because the Lord going to destroy that system. He going to destroy it very shortly. Uh, keep going, Brother John. Verse 8. Shall not the land tremble, tremble for this? And every one mourn that dwelleth therein. Mm -hmm. And it shall rise up holy as a flood. And it shall be cast out and drowned as by the flood of Egypt. Right. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord God, mm -hmm. that I will cause the sun to go down at noon, mm -hmm. and I will darken the earth in the clear day. Mm -hmm. And I will turn your feasts into mourning, mm -hmm. and all your songs into lamentation. Yes. And I will bring up sackcloth upon all loins, yes. and baldness upon every head. Mm -hmm. And I will make it as the morning of an only sun, mm -hmm. and the end thereof as a better day. That's right. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, mm -hmm. not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. That's right. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. The door is closing. Better, better open the door while you got time. The, the Lord said he's knocking at the door of your heart. If you hear him, you, you got time. Open the door. Let him and the Father come in. Meaning get this word up in you. And start walking according to God's righteousness. Which is by faith in Christ Jesus. And then you keep God's commandments. Amen. Go ahead brother John. 13. In that day shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst. Mm -hmm. They that swear by the sin of Samaria and say. Thy God O Dan liveth. Mm -hmm. In the manner of Beersheba liveth. Even they shall fall. And never rise up again because there's no new gods sprung up brothers Amen. and sisters that's right no new gods the same gods being worshipped now being called different names was the same gods people worship even before the flood you see what i'm saying let's go to chapter 9 and verse 8. so like i said when you when you consider like i said in the early like 2010 2012 it was still kind of rare to hear about the illuminati and all that right now people on the radio talking about the illuminati oh jay they got jay-z on the radio yeah we heard you was in the illuminati man and what's up with that he like man i don't know nothing about that you know but now it's coming out more and more about the boule the links the girlfriends etc greek and, and uh, you know all these greek sor uh, sororities and fraternities mm -hmm. everything is coming to light who the real children of israel is you see what i'm saying all of it is coming out why because we're close to the end that's why we very close to the end so the people that are caught up in this foolishness right now to uh what is that second corinthians 6 uh in in verse 10 i believe behold today is the accepted time now is the day of salvation if you're hearing this word, open your heart right. to the Lord. Let him come in. Get this word. You can you can you got a chance. You got time. Don't procrastinate. Don't be lazy with this. Uh nine and, and verse eight. Go ahead, Brother John. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom, mm -hmm. and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. These house Negroes gonna get it, not the rest of us who are trying to do the will of the Father. Go ahead. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. That's right. Like as corn is sifted in a sieve, mm -hmm. yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Mm -hmm. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. That's right. Which say, the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. That's right. Let's go to Matthew chapter 4 and verse 17. Because that is exactly what they, that's what they think. I told you the Lord is exposing it. He said, look, this is what they think. They saying in their heart, the evil not going to get us. Mm -hmm. You know, as long as we serve the hidden hand, 
you know, ain't no, ain't no problems gonna come to us. Mm -hmm. The rest of us down here suffering, right? No, no, no. The Lord gonna bust the head from the head, and then it's gonna trickle down. Amen. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Uh, Matthew four verse seventeen. Go ahead, brother John. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, "Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand." That's right. Let's go to Isaiah one and verse sixteen. Isaiah 1 and verse 16. Gotta repent. Gotta repent. Amen. We don't have all day. The day is almost over. Yep. Night is coming. And a very dark night is coming. The door is about to close. So if, if people are caught up in this stuff, they gotta repent now. Uh, verse 16, go ahead, Brother John. Wash you, make you clean, put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes, cease to do evil. Yes. Learn to do well, seek judgment, mm -hmm. relieve the oppressed, mm -hmm. judge the fatherless, plead for the widow. That's right. Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Mm -hmm. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. So whether you in the Freemasons, whether you in, it don't matter what kind of craziness you in, you got a chance with your God. Mm -hmm. Repent. He said he want to reason with you. He will forgive you by the shed blood of his only begotten son. You see what I'm saying? And your past sins will be forgiven. All your fornication you've been doing while you was a Argon, Archon or a, a first or second degree Freemason, it don't matter what kind of foolishness you've been doing. God will forgive you if you humble yourself and repent. But go ahead. 19. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. Mm -hmm. But if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword. Mm -hmm. For the mouth of the Lord hath spoken. Mm -hmm. Skip down to verse 23. Thy princes are rebellious and companions of thieves. Who? Who's the princes? The leaders. You see what I'm saying? He, the Lord said, your leaders are rebellious and companions of thieves. Who's the thieves? The ones that's in power right now. The hidden hand. They thieves too, because they go to different countries and they rob the country blind, put their leaders over there, and when their leaders don't do what they told them, they kill them. And then they tell you on the news that this dude was just crazy. Mm -hmm. Lies. Go ahead. Everyone loveth gifts and followeth after rewards. And don't they show you this on TV shows? But go ahead. They judge not the fatherless, Neither doth the cause of the widow come unto them. Mm -hmm. Therefore, oh, yeah, that was it, verse twenty-three. Okay. Let's go to Hosea seven, and we're gonna pick it up at verse two. Yeah, they show us on TV these wicked politicians and taking bribes, lying once they get in front of the camera. Oh yeah, and you know who 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 persuaded these Hollywood writers to put this stuff on TV? I give you one guess. The Most High. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because the Most High say, look, ain't nothing going to be secret. Mm -hmm. All this, the shady stuff y'all doing in the dark that think you think nobody's seeing what you're doing, the Most High is persuading these Hollywood writers. They think they got a bright idea, mm -hmm. right? I'm going to put this. This will be a nice little script. The Lord like, nah, you're going to put this out so my people can watch this and see what's really going on behind the scenes. You see? If you do watch TV, that is. Right. Even if it's just Netflix. They got this stuff on Netflix, too. Mm -hmm. Um, Hosea 7 and verse 2 Go ahead brother John And they consider not in their hearts That I remember all their wickedness uh -huh. Now their own doings have beset them about They are before my face uh, They iniquity Remember he said they, they mighty sins Remember we read that He said they, they're mighty sins Right Remember when the Lord came down and visited Abraham And he said the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah's sins Had reached unto me in heaven That's right. And I've come down to check it out these house Negroes, well, I tell you, they sins is reaching up to heaven now. Because they've been helping the oppressors to do God's people in for all this time. Mm -hmm. And they think, well, you know, since rarely anybody know that we even exist, but the Lord know you exist. And he watching you. Mm -hmm. And he going to repay you. Verse 3. They make the kings glad with their wickedness. And the princes with their lives. Do and real quick, I don't mean to rant, brothers and sisters. Please forgive me. Um, we're going to Isaiah seven, but on the way there, I want to explain this, right? Do you? Did, I know some of y'all old heads might know, and I don't mean to be disrespectful when I say that, but some of the elders might know, right? 
Y'all remember when MLK was shot in 60, what was that, 69? 68, right? April 4. Now remember when he was shot, if you if you know anything about this, in 62 or 63, the government was puffing up uh, Jesse Jackson to be the next president, right? Or the next leader, per se. Martin Luther King Jr. found out about Jesse's you know his betrayal if you will and was not cool with him at all right jesse jackson had something to do with martin luther king jr being shot on the balcony that day right and when you really research it they didn't shoot from that window that they said they the the people shot him from mm -hmm. they really shot him from down below mm -hmm. you see and jesse jackson actually cleared that floor that they was on he cleared the floor off right before he got shot and then the other guy Pointed over there like they shot from over there, but really it was from below. And that same guy, I can't remember his name, he wore the glasses. That same dude said, Yeah, that day I, I took, you know, as soon as I moved to the side, they was able to get a clear shot. It slipped. You ever you ever notice that? Sometimes people are so evil, they the Lord will he'll send that angel and that angel will persuade them to say what they didn't really want to say. So it'll come out. It slipped. He didn't really mean to say it. He said, Yeah, when I took a step to the side, they was able to get a clear shot. Now, why would they kill Martin Luther King Jr.? It wasn't because the civil rights movement, brothers and sisters. Nope. It was because he found out about the true meaning of that war. They got this, the two Kennedy brothers assassinated. But guess who was behind all this? Helping the hidden hand, the boule in them. You see what I'm saying? I'm telling you, these people is wicked. These dudes is wicked. These Israelites is straight up evil. Anybody that get in the way and start figuring out what's really going on, these people make a deal with the kings and they say, we'll help you to take them out. Your own people. You see what I'm saying? Let alone any human, but your own people? That's why the Lord said that he said, uh, we, we, we just read in Hosea, he said, they think that I don't know about their wickedness. Wow. See, did, did you know that Malcolm X found out a, that Islam made a deal with the KKK. Did you know that? Yeah. They do, did. You know who killed Malcolm X? Because mm -hmm. people. You see what I'm saying? And who was the hidden hand behind that? The boo laying them. I'm trying to tell you. Isaiah seven and verse one. Go ahead, brother John. And it came to pass in the days of Ahaz, the son of Jotham, mm -hmm. and the son of Uzziah, king of Judah, that Re Razin, the king of Syria. And Pekah, the son of Romalia, king of Israel, went up toward Jerusalem to war against it, but could not prevail against it. See, house Negroes, sodden with the oppressor, to do their own people in. We read about it again. Verse 2. And it was told the house of David, saying, Syria is confederate with Ephraim. Mm -hmm. And his heart was moved, and the heart of his people, as the trees of the wood are moved with the wind. Let's get down to verse 4. Then say unto him, Take heed and be quiet, fear not, mm -hmm. neither be faint hearted for the two tails of these smoking firebrands, for the fierce anger of Razan with Syria and of the son of Romalia. Mm -hmm. Because Syria, Ephraim, and the son of Romalia have taken evil counsel against thee, saying, Let us go up against Judah and vex it. And let us make a breach therein for us, mm -hmm. and saying it set a king in the midst of it, even the son of Tabiel. See, remember I just told y'all they will go into a place and put their own little wicked leader there. Mm -hmm. they, they, they say nothing new. All right. You see what I'm saying? Verse uh verse seven, go ahead. Thus saith the Lord God, it shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. That's right. For the head of Syria is Damascus, mm -hmm. and the head of Damascus is Raisin. So the Lord show you the, what the capital of that country is, but then he show you who the man leader is. Go ahead. And within three score and five years shall he frame be broken, that is, that it be not a people. Mm -hmm. And the head of Ephraim is Samaria, mm -hmm. and the head of Samaria is Ramalia's son. Mm -hmm. If ye will not believe, surely you shall not be established. Right. Now let's go to chapter 2, Isaiah chapter 2. And we're going to pick it up at verse 6. <coughs> All right. Uh, go ahead, Brother John. Therefore thou hast forsaken thy people, the house of Jacob, because they, they be replenished from the east, 
and are soothsayers like the Philistines, mm -hmm. and they please themselves and the children of strangers. These Boulay members, these these baby Greeks. Right. Go ahead. Their land also is full of silver and gold, mm -hmm. neither is there any end of their treasures. Mm -hmm. Their land is also full of horses, neither is there any end of their chariots. They are millionaires and sometimes billionaires. The one percent, they call themselves, are the black elite. Go ahead. Their land also is full of idols. Mm. They worship the work of their own hands. That's right. That which their own fingers have made. Money is their God. Go ahead. And the mean man boweth down. And the great man humbleth himself, mm -hmm. therefore forget therefore forgive them not. Mm -hmm. Enter into the rock mm -hmm. and hide thee in the dust yep. for fear of the Lord and for the glory of his majesty. That's right. The lofty looks of man shall be humbled, mm -hmm. and the haughtiness of men shall be bowed down, and the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. Every time I read this sin chills up my spine, you know. And but I'm not afraid because I know I'm not on the wrong side. You see? But I do fear for some other people because they think it's a game now. Yeah. Verse 12, go ahead, Brother John. For the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty. Yes. And upon everyone that is lifted up, and he shall be brought low. Right. Let's go to chapter or verse 17 uh, in the same chapter. Let's get down to verse 17 and go ahead, Brother John. And the loftiness of men shall be, <coughs> man shall be bowed down. Mm-hmm. And the haughtiness of men shall be made low, mm -hmm. and the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. He said it again. Uh, ver keep going. And the idols he shall utterly abolish. Mm -hmm. And they shall go into the holes of the rocks, and into the caves of the earth, mm -hmm. for fear of the Lord, mm -hmm. and for the glory of his majesty, when he arriveth to shake terribly the earth. The Lord telling you where they're going, and why they're going, when he comes. Mm -hmm. You see? Go ahead. In that day a man shall cast his idols of silver and his idols of gold, which they made each one for himself to worship, to the moles and to the bats, mm -hmm. to go into the clefts of the rocks and into the tops of the ragged rocks, for fear of the Lord and for the glory of his majesty, when he ariseth to shake terribly the earth. We've read that three times in the same chapter, last verse. Cease ye from man whose breath is in his nostril, for wherein is he to be accounted of? So Isaiah is saying, oh, Lord, like, look, please, please, hold, like, have some, a little bit of reserve, Lord. Because mm -hmm. you're you going to destroy everybody. Mm -hmm. But we know the Lord don't destroy the righteous with the wicked. All so right. praise the Most High for that. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's go to chapter 5 and verse 11. Isaiah 5 and verse 11. Because we still talking about these house Negroes. Yeah. I'm telling you, if y'all didn't know, they are wicked. They are, I don't matter what they say in they tabloids, it don't matter what this says on the internet, these people is wicked. Don't look at it carnally with the natural mind, look at it on a spiritual plane. They helping the enemies of the children of Israel to do the children of Israel in, and not just that, but they perpetuate in sin throughout the whole earth, these house Negroes. They helping to get it across, you see what I'm saying? Because they're not speaking against fornication, they're not speaking against idolatry. They're not speaking against all the sins that got Israel in trouble in the first place. Mm -hmm. They're promoting it. So Isaiah 5 and 11. Go ahead, Brother John. Woe well unto them that rise up early in the morning, that they may follow strong drink, that continue until night to wine inflame them. Mm -hmm. And the harp and the viol, the tabard and pipe, mm -hmm. and wine are in their feasts. Mm -hmm. But they regard not the work of the Lord, neither consider the operation of his hands. No, they don't. Therefore my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge. Right. And their honorable men are famished mm -hmm. and their multitude dried up with thirst. That's right. Therefore hell hath enlarged herself and opened her mouth without measure. Mm -hmm. And their glory and their multitude and their pomp and he that rejoiceth shall descend into it. That's right. And the mean man shall be brought low Mm -hmm. And the mighty man shall be humbled, and the eyes of the lofty shall be humbled. That's right. But the Lord of hosts shall be exalted in judgment, and God that is holy shall be sanctified in righteousness. Skip down to verse 20 and go ahead. Woe well unto them that call evil good and good evil, mm. that put darkness for light and light for darkness, mm. that put bitter for sweet 
and sweet for bitter. Mm -hmm. Well unto them that are wise in their own eyes yep. and prudent in their own sight. Yep. Well unto them that are mighty to drink wine and men of strength to mingle strong drink, mm -hmm. which justify the wicked for reward and take away the righteousness of the righteous from him. That's right. Therefore, as the fire devoureth the stubble, and the flame con flame consumeth the chaff, so their roots shall be as rottenness, and their bo and their blossoms shall go up as dust, mm. because they have cast away the law of the Lord of hosts, mm -hmm. and despised the word of the Holy One of Israel. Mm -hmm. They got their own little Bible that they, you know, every every uh, May, every month, I mean every year in May, they have to research their history. The Boule members. The archons. I told you what the word means. Archon. It means demon. Mm -hmm. These people is devil worshippers, and they think, they, "Man, this is crazy." Uh, let's go to chapter nine and verse thirteen. This is what I'm saying to the 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 little the baby Greeks, the little ones. You know, come out. If you hear this, come out. If something not feeling right to you, and you seeing the oppression of your people, you seeing how this secret society is so secret most people don't even know that they exist come out because sometimes your conscience be right you know when you had that bad gut feeling uh, 9 and 13 go ahead brother John for the people turneth not unto him that smiteth them neither do they seek the Lord of hosts the leaders don't skip down to verse 16 for the leaders of this people cause them to err and they that are led of them are destroyed that's right let's go to chapter 10 and verse 1 Woe well unto them that decree unrighteousness, unrighteous decrees, and that right grievousness which they have pre prescribed, mm -hmm. to turn aside the needy from judgment, mm. and to take away the right from the poor of my people, mm -hmm. that widows may be their prey, and that they may rob the fatherless. That's right. And what will ye do in the day of visitation, and in the desolation which shall come from far? Mm -hmm. To whom will ye flee for help? Mm -hmm. And where will ye leave your glory? See, they don't have an answer for that. Let's go to Proverbs 24. The Lord said, where are you going to go? Where are you, you going to run to for help? You done already ran to Egypt, you know, spiritually speaking. Egypt can't help you, you know. Egypt can't help you. The only one can help is the Most High. Amen. That's why he said, but they don't turn to me. The same one that's afflicting them. You know, they don't like to hear the truth. We read that earlier. They hate the one that's speaking in the gates, that's right. the truth of righteousness. They don't want to hear that. But the true sheep that are there, that have just been side blinded, right? You hear this, you come out because you got a chance. The Lord said his sheep know his voice. So maybe you've been walking around blind for this time being. But once the truth comes to you, you're going to believe it. I have faith in that. None of the, the and Daniel is written, none of the wicked going to understand in these last days. But the righteous, the wise, will understand. So, Proverbs 24 and verse 1. Go ahead, Brother John. Be not thou envious against evil men, neither desire to be with them. Right. For their heart studieth destruction, and their lips talk of mischief. That's these house negroes. Get down to verse 8. He that devises to do evil shall be called a mischievous person. Wow. They, y all, y all, they, uh, real quick, y'all ever seen the Boondocks episode? where they had a round table and it was these Israelites sitting around a round table and an old man came in there. He's like, what, what y'all doing in here? And they was talking, they was trying to figure out ways to further destroy Israel. Mm. This is really going on. See, they put it out there like that to make you think this is just fiction. This is what these people really do. Having round table meetings. They even call themselves in one in one place I was researching, they call themselves the round table. The boule in them. I'm telling you, these Negroes ish, they evil. I'm telling you, they evil, man. The founder was in all of them. You see what I'm saying? The leaders of it, because they really know what they're doing. It's the ones that just join and don't have really no clue like what this is all about. They just excited to be a part of something. Yeah. You see, it's just like when you first wake up to the truth and you you quit to join GOCC or GMS or IUIC. It's the same way. But the further along you stay in that thing, the Lord going to start, if you're a true sheep, that is, the Lord going to call you out eventually. He's going to say, look, come out of that. This ain't where I want you at. I just want you to get a little piece of information from here, but it's time to leave. You see what I'm saying? Uh, where was that? Uh, top of verse 9. All right, go ahead. The thought of foolishness is sin, mm -hmm. and the scorner is an abomination to men. Right. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. Don't be afraid. 
the most high got your back do not be afraid as long as you do what he say he got your back verse 11 if thou forbear to deliver them that are drawn unto death and those that are ready to be slain uh -huh. if thou sayest behold we knew it not doth not he that pondereth the heart consider it yes and he that keepeth thy soul doth not he know it yes and he shall not and shall not he render to every man according to his works yes my son eat thou honey because it is good oh no no he's put okay. aside to it skip down to verse 15 lay not wait O wicked man against the dwelling of the righteous spoil not his resting place mm -hmm. for a just man falleth seven times mm -hmm. and rises up again mm -hmm. but the wicked shall fall into mischief that's right Rejoice not when thine enemy falleth, mm -hmm. and let not thine heart be glad when he stumbleth. Right. Lest the Lord see it, and it displease him, and he turn away his wrath from him. So in a way, I feel sorry, even for the leaders, because they're going to get it bad. Amen. You know, that's why we have to walk in balance. The Lord hate a false balance, brothers and sisters. We can't be saying we for the Most High, and then rejoice when we see somebody wicked getting their punishment. Amen. You see, we're supposed, we supposed to grieve too. Because the Lord said, I, do I have pleasure? Do I have any pleasure that the wicked should die? Mm -hmm. The Lord don't get excited every time he got to give the, the command to one of his angels, go kill this person. You see? It grieved him. Why? Because all men is God's children. Technically. You see what I'm saying? So it hurts the father when he have to give that command, go take this person out. Because then when he judge them at the last day, they go into the lake of fire. This is not meant for us, brothers and sisters, the yeah. lake of fire. It's meant for them fallen angels. That's right. But, uh, where was he at? Verse 17? Right, 19. 19, go ahead. Fret not thyself because of evil men, neither be thou envious at the wicked. Uh -huh. For there shall be no reward to the evil man, the candle of the wicked shall be put out. I mean, lights out. Let's get down to verse 23. These things also belong to the wise. Uh -huh. It is not good to have respect of persons in judgment. And that's what these house Negroes is all about. Mm -hmm. Respect of persons. You know, if you just think about it, you know, all, I mean, all across the board, they just respect as a person. Yeah. You know, um, uh, keep going. Verse 24. He that saith unto the wicked, thou art righteous, him shall the people curse, nations shall abhor him. Uh -huh. But to them that rebuke him shall be delight, and a good blessing shall come upon them. Right. Every man shall kiss his lips and giveth a right answer. You're going to be like, yes, two points. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go to chapter 28, Proverbs 28 and verse 3. And get there, Brother John, go ahead. A poor man that oppresses the poor is like a sweeping rain which leaveth no food. That ain't that, ain't that speaking to these house Negroes? They poor just like the rest of us Israelites, but they think they got it better than us because they got a little bit of money. Right. Like Peter said, your money perish with you. Amen. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Uh, verse 4, go ahead. They that forsake the law praise the wicked, uh -huh. but such as keep the law contend with them. That's what we're doing here today. Go ahead. Evil men understand not judgment, mm -hmm. but they that seek the Lord understand all things. Uh -huh. Better is the poor that walketh in his uprightness than he that is perverse in his ways, though he be rich. That's right. Whoso keepeth the law is a wise son, mm -hmm. but he that is a companion of riotous men shameth his father. That's right. He that by usury and unjust gain increaseth his substance, he shall gather it for him that will pity the poor. Yes. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. Mm. So all you baby Greeks out there, who are Israelites, don't refuse the counsel of the Lord when you hear it. Accept it. Humble yourself. Go ahead, Brother John. 10. Whoso causes, causes the righteous to go astray in an evil way, he shall fall himself into his own pit. Mm -hmm. But the upright shall have good things in possession. The Lord ain't forgot what Jesse Jackson and, and Al Sharpton have done. And uh, Colin Powell. Yeah, he was a bootleg member too. Mm -hmm. Ben Carson. He in with the baby Greeks too. Elijah Cummings. Elijah Cummings. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They know. Uh, verse 11, go ahead. The rich man is wise in his own conceit, but the poor that hath understanding searcheth him out. That's right. Let's go to, skip down verse 13, go ahead. 
He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, mm -hmm. but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. That's right. Uh, skip down to verse 21. To have respect of persons is not good, mm -hmm. <clears throat> but for a piece of bread that man will transgress. And isn't that what they have done? Mm -hmm. uh, verse 22, go ahead. He that hastes to be rich hath an evil eye, and considereth not that poverty shall come upon him. The worst form of poverty is not physical. It is the lake of fire. Mm -hmm. And that is physical, but it's more spiritual because you're going to be an immortal burning in that giant. Right. You see? Verse 23. He that rebuketh a man afterwards shall find more favor than he that, than he that flattereth with the tongue. That's right. That's right. And that's what we're doing here today. Let's go to Matthew 23. We're going to see the master when he was in the physical form. We're going to see the master calling these house Negroes out to their face. And they did not like it. No, no. They like, who do this man think he talking to like this? Yeah. You know, we got a good thing here going. Uh, whatever a uh, Y name they used back then, Yeshua or whatever. Right? We got a good thing going here, and you gonna mess this thing up for us, and the, the Romans gonna come down here and take all this from us, man. You need to leave us alone. We got a good thing going here. We robbing the poor. They ain't say this literally, but was, Jesus knew that's what they was doing. That's why he called them out on it. You see, they trying to justify themselves to be seen and heard of men. They like being approached. Hey, Rabbi. Hey, Rabbi. That's right. The Lord said, don't do that. He said, don't even call no man on earth your master because you got one in heaven. Amen. These boule, they they try to be more slick. They they try to be more slick than the Pharisees and them. They don't even want to be seen. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? That's why most of us Israelites never heard of them. You see? But we're going to see the master calling them out. We're going to see Jesus calling them out. Matthew 23 and verse 1. Go ahead, Brother John. Then spake Jesus to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, the scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. They want to be leaders. Uh, skip down to verse 4 and go ahead. For they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be borne, mm -hmm. and lay them on men's shoulders, mm -hmm. but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. See, when Martin King was, even though he was a boule, he didn't know the inner workings. Like, he didn't really get it until later on in life. And then when he started finding out, and I remember one of his last speeches he gave, it was a night. Uh, it was a black and white film at night, and he was saying, we're going to Washington, but they, it's because they owe us a check. That's what he was saying in that last video. Mm -hmm. The next day, I think, is when he got shot. Yeah. They had to set him up. Man, look, this they, Jesse Jackson running back to the, the oppressor, the hidden hand behind the boule. He's like, look, man, uh, Martin King, you know, he, 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 he on to us, man. He finding out too much. You know, we got to take him out. They like, all right, look, this is what we want you to do. We want you to bam, bam, bam. And then they shoot him from below, and he over there pointing over this way. You see what I'm saying? Lying. Lying, man. The Lord said they bind in heavy burdens and grievous to be born. Let's go to Washington and get some paperwork. Screw the paperwork, man. Mm -hmm. Don't they have paperwork already in the government stating that all men are created equal? Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't be doing these things to each other. If that paperwork ain't working, what make you think us Negroes gonna march down on Washington and tell them, look, stop killing us, please, man. Mm -hmm. Amen. But this is the job of these house Negroes. You see, take the focus away from the hidden hand and focus on paperwork. Uh, verse 5, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. But all their works they do to, for to be seen of men, mm -hmm. they make broad their phylacteries and enlarge the borders of their garments. Because they look nice. Verse 6. And love the uppermost rooms at feasts mm -hmm. and the chief seats in the synagogue. Because they be having their plush parties and they uh -huh. plush picnics. You see? Eating their unclean food, I'm certain. Yes. Uh, let's skip down to verse 11. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. Isn't that something? Verse uh, 13. But woe well unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. Yes. For ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye that them that are entering in to go in. So what do they tell us, us young, especially us young Israelite men? When we meet, when we meet these boule dudes on the streets, sometimes they don't tell you they boule, but you can tell when they real like an uppity Negro, house Negro. You can tell, you know. When, what do they tell us young bucks? They say, look, man, if you really want to make it in this society, you just got to do this, this, and this. Nothing is ever said about turn back to our God, get back in this book. Oh, you just got to work hard. I remember growing up in the civil rights era and I was marching with Martin King and, you know, and basically, you know, if you, you just got to work hard, young man. You just got to do this, this, this. Come on. Come on. 
you know, that's not what the word of God is saying. That's right. You see? But then when they go to the courthouses, don't they swear on this same Bible? Yeah. Mm. You see? That they're going to tell the truth? they liars. But keep going. 14. Well unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. Yes. For ye devour widows' houses, uh -huh. and for a pretense make long prayer. Uh -huh. Therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. That's right. Well unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. Uh -huh. For ye can pass sea and land to make one proselyte. And when he is made, ye make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. Mm -hmm. well, well, let's get down to 25 and go ahead. Well unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. Mm -hmm. For ye make clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, mm -hmm. but within they are full of extortion and excess. Extortion. Y'all, I know y'all know uh, Jeffrey Epstein. Mm -hmm. How this dude on suicide watch and get killed in jail? Mm -hmm. <sighs> They, they set him up. You know why? Because he was about to talk. Mm -hmm. Oh, I ain't the only billionaire going down for this. That's right. We know it's a pedophile ring in the world. We can't be shy about talking about these things, brothers and sisters. Right. These things is going on. Right. The Lord came on the scene in the flesh. He exposing the wickedness of these leaders. We got to be his servants and do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Expose the corruption. The Lord say have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. Expose it. That don't mean get enthralled with it and lose focus of salvation. That just mean be... Be being understanding about these things, Amen. you know. So the Lord said they look good though. They try to clean themselves up mm -hmm. on the outside. They full of extortion. I heard I was researching stuff about Jeffrey, Jeffrey Epstein. He inviting billionaires and mil presidents, mm -hmm. Bill Clinton and them, Donald That's Trump right. and them, yes. down to his private island. That's right. They raping these little girls down there. That's right. You mm -hmm. see, and then he recording it without them knowing. Then he get locked up on some pedophile stuff. And he was like, and I'm sure in his head, he probably like, I'm about to talk. I got a black book and everything. I got the secret recordings. Yeah, I'm about to blow this thing wide open. They like, no, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Take him out right now. We'll pay you 50K each. I don't know how much exactly, but that's, you get the point. Right. Verse uh, 26. 26, go ahead. Thou blind Pharisee. Cleanse first that which is within the cup and platter, uh -huh. that the outside of them may be clean also. Mm -hmm. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees. Skip, skip, I'm okay. sorry, skip down 28. Go ahead. Even so, ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. That's right. Skip down to 33. Ye serpents, ye generation of vipers, mm -hmm. how can ye escape the damnation of hell? House Negroes, how y'all gonna escape? How are you going to get away from the Lord? How are you going to get away from this judgment? Except you repent. Keep uh, verse 34. Where, brother John? Wherefore, behold, I send unto you prophets and wise men and That's scribes, right. and some of them ye shall kill and crucify. That's right. And some of them ye shall scourge in your synagogues. That's right. And persecute them from city to city. That's right. And this time is coming. Let's go to... You got 35. Was that 35? That upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth, mm -hmm. from the blood of righteous Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, son of ba Barachias, mm -hmm. whom ye slew between the temple and the altar. So, brothers and sisters, we know that's twofold. Let's quickly go to Proverbs 29 and 25. We know that's twofold. He's talking about the religious leaders that are corrupt, and there are many, even in this day. Uh, but he was, in another respect, I want us to look back at that in a different light. To see that it's also about these house Negroes that like to stay hidden behind the scenes. But just like most of us are familiar with the plantation days of our people, because Israel, we still slaves. Yes, Don't think yeah. that because we're not on these plantations getting whipped on the back that we're not still slaves. We are still slaves in a forbid in a country that's not our own. Amen. Right? Mm -hmm. But during the plantation days, they had house Negroes on the horse, got the whip in his hand. Calling his own brothers and sisters derogatory names, which I'm not going to say on the Lord's Sabbath day. There you go. Right? But we think because we're not experiencing that type of environment, it's not still going on. But it is. It is. Even on our day jobs. It'd be house Negroes on a day job. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. The, 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 the Gentiles be giving them a little bit of power, right, in the workplace. They let it go straight to their head. They was just my co-worker doing the same job I'm doing. Now they get a little bit of elevation. Now they calling me derogatory names. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. You need to do this and do this. I'm like, dude, you was just where I'm at yesterday. Yep. You pumped full of nothing. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you see? 
uh, Proverbs 29 and 25. Go ahead, Brother John. The fear of man bringeth a snare, but whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be saved. That's right. Let's go to Daniel chapter 3 and verse 4. We're almost done, brothers and sisters. Daniel 3 and verse 4. We're going to look at some more house Negroes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's all over the Bible, man. These dudes are something else. Just like they told Moses, look, you you messing up a good thing for us, man. You know. But it says, before you came back, we had a little peace, man. You know, Pharaoh's being a little nice to us. You know, mm. you come on the scene talking about this is wrong, what he's doing, man. Just leave the man alone. Mm. They doing the same thing now. Mm -hmm. Elijah coming in the in, in them, you know, yeah. these boule members. Oh, look, look, don't don't be riding. Don't I ain't saying riding is good, but I'm saying, baby, oh, don't do this, uh, black people. Don't do this, African Americans. Come on, we can just go to DC, we can talk to Congress. Mm -hmm. They'll, they'll pass. Man, Congress is passing laws that's against the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. What do you think these FEMA camps and, and coffins is for? Mm -hmm. If you know a word, then you know Jacob's shovel was about to kick off. Yeah, sure. So, who is these things really meant for? Who's all these guns that they got? For? Why are they militarizing the police? Who is the target? Why all this urban training? Who is the focus? Mm. And why is my representative in government not speaking out about these things? Mm -hmm. If he's really for his people. Amen. He ain't warning me. He ain't blowing his voice like a trumpet. Nope. You see? We got to be wise about these things. Uh, Daniel 3 and verse 4. Go ahead, Brother John. Then an herald cried aloud, To you it is commanded, O people, mm -hmm. nations and languages, that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, mm -hmm. flute, mm -hmm. harp, sackbut, mm -hmm. psaltery, mm -hmm. dulcimer, mm -hmm. and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king hath set up. Yes. And whoso falleth not down and worshipeth shall the same hour be cast into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. Mm -hmm. Therefore at that time, when all the people heard the sound of the coronet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, and all kinds of music, all the people, the nations, and the languages fell down and worshipped the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. And this about to be repeated. Go ahead. Wherefore at that time certain Chaldeans came near and accused the Jews. Mm -hmm. They spake and said to the king, Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live forever. Mm -hmm. Thou, O king, hast made a decree that every man that shall hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music shall fall down and worship the golden image. Mm -hmm. But whoso falleth not down and worshipeth that he should be cast into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. Mm -hmm. There are certain Jews whom thou hast set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Mm -hmm. These men, O king, have not regarded thee. Mm -hmm. They serve not thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou, hast, which thou hast set up. So look, house Negroes, we know that's talking about us Israelites, or some of our people, but mm -hmm. even the other nations got their form of, you know, Respecters of persons, if you will, right? So Nebuchadnezzar's respecters of persons, his house buddies, they came to him. Oh, look, man, these certain Israelites, they ain't trying to do what you say, man. Remember the oath that you made, O king? Mm -hmm. Ain't that what the boule of them do? Right. You know, they look for the troublemakers amongst Israel, those of us that's outspoken, like Malcolm X, mm -hmm. like Marcus Garvey, you see, Martin King. Oh, yeah. Oh, King, look, they, they troublemakers. We got to get them. Did, look, a little snippet of information. Did y'all know that the government was in cahoots? The CIA, and them, they was in cahoots with the KKK to target uh, the poor Israelites. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Because the KKK wasn't allowed to touch the house Negroes. Mm -hmm. Look it up. Mm -hmm. You see? And guess who was helping the CIA to target the poor Israelites? The Boulay and them. This rabbit hole go deep. And the most high blown and laid off this whole thing in these last days. Because these people think they so slick. But I'm not trying to digress. Uh, where is that verse? We finished uh, 13. All right, let's skip down to verse uh, 16. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. Mm -hmm. If it be so, 
Our God, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. That's right. And he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. That's right. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, mm -hmm. nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. And we're going to be saying the same things in these latter days to come during Jacob's trouble. All the saints. Let's skip down to verse 23. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Because Nebuchadnezzar told them, turn it up seven times higher. The dudes that brought them, they burned up alive. <laughs> but go ahead. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished, and rose up in haste, and spake, and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. Mm -hmm. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose, mm -hmm. walking in the midst of the fire, mm -hmm. and they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. So this is what I, I wanted to read that, because let's go to Jeremiah 17 quickly. Um, I wanted to read that because I wanted these baby Greeks that's in these crazy places to understand that once you come out of this stuff that you in, your princes, they will come against you. And they're going to talk about killing you. They're going to talk about setting your house on fire and all this type of stuff. But don't you worry. Because the Son of God will be with you if you believe in him Amen. and repent. Amen. That's right. You see? So don't worry about their vain threats. It don't mean nothing to the Most High. He's sitting in heaven laughing at them. Because they think their plan is going to work. That's right. God's plan always worked. His word prevailed. Not, not man's. Not Amen. the angels. Uh, let's go to Jeremiah 17 and verse 5. Go ahead, Brother John. Thus saith the Lord. Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart departeth from the Lord. Cursed, the Lord said. Let's go down to verse 7. Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, and whose hope the Lord is. That's right. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when heat cometh. But her leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought neither shall cease from yielding fruit. That's right. Let's go to Isaiah 19. Almost done, brothers and sisters. Almost done. Isaiah 19 and verse 1. And one moment, Brother John. Another piece of information, brothers and sisters, did y'all know that the Boulay's colors is blue and white? Mm -hmm. The same colors that the Freemasons wear. And that's the Israel. Yeah, Israel too. The Lord said on the on the fringe on the border of your garments wear mm -hmm. a ribbon of blue, right? Oh yeah, see this let's go back. Let's go way back like that TLC song. You know? Mm -hmm. uh, Isaiah 19 and verse 1. Go ahead, Brother John. The burden of Egypt. Mm -hmm. Behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. Now, let's not look at that literally like how it was in those days, but rather spiritually. This whole world is like Egypt now. You see? So the Lord is going to come on a cloud, and he's going to come to this world. And the idols of this world going to melt at his presence. I mean, they're going to be moved at his presence. They're going to fall down. And the people that are slaves to this Egyptian system, they're going to they gonna be sad, very sad in that day. Uh, verse 2, go ahead. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, mm. and they shall fight everyone against his brother, mm. and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. That's right. And the spirit of Egypt shall fall in the midst thereof, uh -huh. and I will destroy the council thereof. Mm -hmm. And they shall seek to the idols, mm -hmm. and to the charmers, and to them that have familiar spirits, and to the wizards. That's right. And the Egyptians will I give over into the hand of a cruel lord, mm -hmm. and a fierce king shall rule over them. Even the Pope of Rome. Saith the Lord, the Lord of hosts. Let's skip down to verse 8. The fishers also shall mourn, and all they that cast angle into the brooks shall lament, and they that spread nets upon the waters shall languish. You know who these fishers are? These these archons from the boule, you know. They fishing. They're going to be sad. Because the Lord brought to put a stop to all this. Uh, keep going, Brother John. Nine. Moreover, they that work in fine flax, and they that weave networks, shall be confounded. Uh -huh. And they shall be broken in the purposes thereof, all that make sluices and ponds for fish. Mm -hmm. Surely the princes of Zoan are fools. 
The counsel of the wise counselors of Pharaoh is become brutish. That's right. How shall ye unto how, how say ye unto Pharaoh, I am the son of the wise, the son of ancient kings? Oh, my dad was Doctor So and So. He had a PhD in doctorates, and the Lord like that's stupid. Yeah. Uh, verse twelve. <laughs> Where are they? Where are thy wise men? Uh -huh. And let them tell thee now, and let them know what the Lord of hosts hath purposed upon Egypt. That's right. The princes of Zoan are become fools. Mm -hmm. The princes of Naf are deceived. Mm -hmm. They have also seduced Egypt, even they that are, are the stay of the tribes thereof. Mm -hmm. The Lord hath mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, mm -hmm. and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. So envision that. Let's get down to verse 16. In that day shall Egypt be like unto women, mm -hmm. and it shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of the Lord of hosts, which he shaketh over it. That's right. And the land of Judah shall be a terror unto Egypt. Mm. Everyone that maketh mention thereof shall be afraid in himself because of the counsel of the Lord of hosts, which he hath determined against it. In Jeremiah, the Most High said he's going to use Judah as his battle axe when he come. See? So the, this spiritual world of Egypt is going to be terrified when the Lord come back. See? Let's uh, go to, where we at? Verse, skip to verse 20 and verse 5. Verse 20. I'm sorry, chapter 20, verse 5. And they shall be afraid and ashamed of Ethiopia, their expectation, and of Egypt, their glory. See, the, 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 these Greek fraternities and sororities, their, their glory is found in Egyptology or Egyptian false god worship. Mm -hmm. You see? So the Lord will put a stop to it. But let's go to 22 and verse 12. Chapter 22 and verse 12. And go ahead, Brother John. And in that day did the Lord God of hosts call to weeping, and to mourning, and to boldness, and to girding with sackcloth. Uh -huh. And behold, joy and gladness, slaying oxen, and killing sheep, eating flesh, and drinking wine. Uh -huh. Let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we shall die. And that's what they sang. Go ahead. And it was revealed in mine ears by the Lord of hosts, Surely this iniquity shall be not be purged from you till ye die saith the Lord God of hosts. That's second death. Go ahead. Thus saith the Lord God of hosts, Go, get thee unto the, this treasurer, even unto Shebna, which is over the house, and say, What, how, what hast thou here, mm -hmm. and whom hast thou here, that thou hast hewed thee out of sepulchre here, mm -hmm. as he that heweth him out of sepulchre on high, mm -hmm. and that graveth with an habitation for himself in a rock. Mm -hmm. Behold, the Lord will carry thee away with a mighty captivity and will surely cover thee. Uh -huh. He will surely violently turn and toss thee like a ball into a large country. Mm. There shalt thou die, and there the chariots of thy glory shall be the shame of thy, Lord, of thy Lord's house. Verse 19. And I will drive thee from thy station, and from thy state shall he put thee down. The Lord said, let, well, real quick, let's go to John 8 and 43. Um... The Lord said, "Go to the go to these people and tell them what you uh what you got here. You, oh, oh, you built you a nice little graveyard that you think you're gonna be buried at, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this ain't gonna be your final resting place. I'm gonna pick you up like a like a ball and yeah, toss ball. you into a large country. You know what country that is? The lake. That's the the country called the Lake of Fire. Yeah. yeah. Lake. You see what I'm saying? They gonna pay, man. They is Ooh. gonna pay. Uh, John eight and forty three. Go ahead, brother John." Why do ye not understand my speech, mm. even because you cannot hear my word? That's right. right. Ye are of your father the devil, mm. and the lust of your father ye will do. That's right. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, mm -hmm. because there is no truth in him. That's right. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar, and the father of it. That's right. And because I tell you the truth, Ye believe me not. Mm -hmm. Which of you convinces me of sin? Mm -hmm. And if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? Mm -hmm. He that is of God heareth God's words. Mm -hmm. Ye therefore hear them not, because you are not of God. And that's why I said in the beginning, brothers and sisters, let's go back to Isaiah 24. But that's why I said in the beginning, this message is not for all of them that's in the boule. It is, it is to a degree. It's a warning to all of them. But I'm directly speaking to the sheep of God that are there. 
who don't who just haven't heard the warning yet. They haven't been called yet by the Most High. So this is just like a planting of a seed or a watering of, of that seed that's already been planted to try to encourage them come out before it's too late for you. Come out, you know. The Lord said his sheep hear his voice. If we consider ourselves true sheep, there was a time where we did not hear the voice of Messiah just yet. And we were into all types of sin and abominations. Amen. When the Lord sent his word and we heard it, we humbled ourselves and we believed it. Why? Because we consider ourselves true sheep. Amen. We know the true sheep going to endure to the end. That's the That'll be the end game. So Isaiah 20, I'm sorry, where was that? Isaiah 24? Yeah, 24 verse 21. Go ahead, Brother John. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high. That's right. And the kings of the earth upon the earth. That's right. And they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit mm -hmm. and shall be shut up in the prison. And after many days shall they be visited. That means they're going to die and then woken up. Go ahead. Then the moon shall be confounded and the sun ashamed when the Lord of hosts shall reign in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem and before his ancients gloriously. Because the Lord is letting us know what time that's going to be. That's going to be when he comes. Uh, let's go to chapter 27 and verse 11. Be broken off. Didn't Master say that in John 15? Mm -hmm. I'm the vine, you are the branches. Any branch that don't abide in me is, is cut off and withered, mm -hmm. and men gather them up at the last day, uh -huh. and they're tossed in the fire. That's right. Go ahead. The women come and set them on fire, uh -huh. for it is a people of no understanding. Uh -huh. Therefore he that made them will not have mercy on them, mm -hmm. and he that formed them will show them no favor. That's right. And it shall come to pass in that day, that the Lord shall beat off from the channel of the river unto the stream of Egypt. Mm -hmm. And ye shall be gathered one by one, O ye children of Israel. And that's what I'm trying to, you know, help to do today is to at least save one. At least to, that one would hear. Because I got people that send some of these Greek things on my friends list on Facebook. You see? And I want them to hear this, whether it be of me or another disciple of the Lord. Hear this message. Repent. Stop doing what you're doing. You're doing it out of ignorance. The Lord will have mercy and compassion on you because you did not know what you were doing and you're not so far into it. But if you harden your heart against the Most High, He's going to do you like He did Pharaoh. He's going to do you like He did Ananias and Sapphira. He's going to do you like He did Judas. The list goes on. Don't play games with the Most High. He's not for the games. Uh, verse 13. And it shall come to pass in that day that the great trumpet shall be blown, mm -hmm. and they shall come which were ready to perish in the land of Assyria, and the outcasts in the land of Egypt, and shall worship the Lord in the holy mount at Jerusalem. Let's go to 28 and 14. And remember we read in Proverbs, the Most High said, if you don't warn the one that's getting ready to die, you see, mm -hmm. that's what we got to do, brothers and sisters. We have to have the heart of our Father in heaven, which is to try to save people. Yes. You see? We should not be so laxed in our walk to where we seeing sinners on the streets getting ready to die, spiritually speaking, or they already spiritually dead, right? And they just getting work. We got to try to win them to Christ. Christ can make them whole. When Jesus finished the, the Sermon on the Mount and he's coming down, a leper met him and said, Lord, if you will, I can be whole. You can make me whole. The Lord said, I will, and reached out and touched the man, and, and he became whole. Right. You see? That's, right. That's the mindset that the servants of the Lord is supposed to have. I'm trying to win people. I'm trying to get people in this spiritual rehab so they can get cleaned up. So we can get saved in the last day. Yes. Truly saved. 28 and verse 14. Go ahead, Brother John. Wherefore, hear the word of the Lord, ye scornful men that rule this people which is in Jerusalem. Talking to these princes of the boule in Greek fraternities and sororities. Go ahead. Because ye have said, we have made a covenant with death. And with hell are we at agreement. Uh -huh. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, mm -hmm. it shall not come unto us. For we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. And one thing I know about these boule people is if you if you ask them questions but you're wrong, they'll agree with you to throw you off. You'd be like, well, isn't I thought isn't y'all so y'all Greek fraternity? And they'll say, yeah, yeah, we're a Greek fraternity. And you say, well, isn't y'all colors purple and red? And they're like, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know, maybe. But if you really know, they can't hide. You see, you gotta bring it out. It's just like when we go, when we're preaching the word of God to people, whether it be at work, whether it be at the swimming pool, the beach, whatever, right? We can't give them the easy route in the conversation. Oh, well, so do you think you're a good person? Yeah, I think I'm a good person. Look, man, the Bible say otherwise. Let me tell you what the word say. Let's not sugarcoat this thing. 
Uh, keep going, Brother John. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation a stone, a tried stone, mm -hmm. a precious cornerstone, mm -hmm. a sure foundation. Uh -huh. He that believeth shall not make haste. And Paul said, He that believeth will not be confounded. Go ahead. Judgment also will I lay to the line, and righteousness to the plummet. And the hall shall sweep away, and the hail shall sweep away the refuge of lies, and the water shall overflow the hiding place. Talking about Messiah. And your covenant with death shall be disannulled, mm -hmm. and your agreement with hell shall not stand. Mm -hmm. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, then ye shall be trodden down by it. That's right. From the time that it goeth forth, it shall take you. Mm -hmm. For morning by morning shall it pass over. Mm -hmm. By day and by night, mm -hmm. and it shall be a vexation only to understand the report. Mm -hmm. For the bed is shorter than that a man can stretch himself on, mm -hmm. it, and the covering narrower than he can wrap himself in it. So you know how the old the old saying goes. Let's go to um, uh, Ezekiel 13. Y'all know the old saying, uh, you made the bed and I lie in it. That's right. So the Lord said, he said to these wicked uh, people, that's these house Negroes, he said, look, the bed too short, you can't even lay in it. Mm -hmm. That means destruction is imminent upon you. He said, you ain't got you ain't got a cover big enough to wrap you, you know, to hide you from what's coming to right. you. You see what I'm saying? Uh, Ezekiel 13 and verse 18. Go ahead, Brother John. And say, thus saith the Lord God, mm -hmm. woe to the women that sew pillows to all armholes, and make kerchiefs upon the head of every statue to hunt souls. Mm -hmm. Will ye hunt the souls of my people? Mm -hmm. And will ye save the souls alive that come unto you? Right. And will ye pollute me among my people for handfuls of barley and for pieces of bread to slay the souls that should not die and to save the souls alive that should not live mm. by your lying to my people that hear your lies? Mm. Wherefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold! I am against your pillows, mm -hmm. wherewith ye there hunt the souls to make them fly. And I will tear them from your arms, and will let the souls go, even the souls that ye hunt to make them fly. That's right. Your kerchiefs also will I tear, uh -huh. and deliver my people out of your hand. Uh -huh. And they shall be no more in your hand to be hunted, mm -hmm. and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Mm -hmm. Because with lies ye have made the heart of the righteous sad, That's right. whom I have not made sad, That's right. and strengthened the hands of the wicked that should not return from his wicked way, that he should not return from his wicked way by promising him life. Uh -huh. Therefore ye shall see no more vanity, nor divine divinations. For I will deliver my people out of your hand, and you shall know that I am the Lord. He keeps saying, you're going to know that I'm the Lord. No, Keep no. playing with me. You're going to put some respect on my name. That, that's For that's real. That. Isaiah 30 and verse 1. And we have two. We got three more places we're going to, but they're very short verses. Oh. Isaiah 30 and verse 1. Um, all right. Go ahead, Brother John. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, mm -hmm. that take counsel, but not of me, mm -hmm. and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, mm -hmm. that they may add sin to sin. Mm -hmm. That walk to go down into Egypt, mm -hmm. and have not asked at my mouth, mm -hmm. to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. I told you, Egypt not going to save them, but they believe so. Remember when, when our ancestors was in the wilderness? And they had some ambassadors. Look, man, let's make us ambassadors. We're going to go back to Egypt. We had it better in Egypt. That's what these boule dudes is about. Let's make a covenant with the with the Greeks, man. With these the ones that's really in power. The, the Illuminati and them. You know? We can live good, man, if we just be at peace with them. And we'll help them destroy our own people. Oh, that is straight up evil. It don't matter what nation that come from. That's that characteristic. That's straight up evil. To help oppress another human being, period. Yes. Don't the book say we all got one blood? Amen. You see what I'm saying? So verse 3, go ahead, Brother John. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. That's right. Let's get down to verse 7. For the Egyptians shall help in vain, mm -hmm. and to, to no purpose. Mm -hmm. Therefore hath I, have I cried concerning this, their strength is to sit still. Didn't the Lord say he's going to make the Egyptians fight against the Egyptians? That's right. He's going to do it. Uh, go ahead, Brother John. Now go, 
write it before them in a table and note it in a book that it may be for the time to come forever and ever uh -huh. that this is a rebellious people uh -huh. lying children uh -huh. children that will not hear the law of the Lord uh -huh. which say to the seers see not uh -huh. and to the prophets prophesy not unto us right things speak unto us smooth things uh -huh. prophesy deceits uh -huh. get you out of the way turn aside out of the path Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. No, the blue lady saying, no, we love the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We love the Lord. Lion. Go ahead. Wherefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because you despise this word, and trust in oppression and perverseness, and stay thereon, therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, uh -huh. swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. Right. And he shall break it as the breaking of the potter's vessel that is broken in pieces. He shall not spare, so that there shall not be found in the bursting of it assured to take fire from the hearth, mm -hmm. or to take water withal out of the pit. Mm -hmm. For thus saith the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, And returning in rest shall ye be saved, yes. and quietness and in confidence shall be your strength, and ye would not. Right. But ye said, No. For we will flee upon horses, mm -hmm. therefore shall ye flee, and we will ride upon the swift, therefore shall they that pursue you be swift. That's right, because when, because when we when we make that first resurrection, oh, we're gonna be as fast as the master himself. See, remember the master was able to appear on sight and vanish out of sight. Amen. That's how fast we're gonna be as immortals. So they're gonna be running. The Lord said the ones that's chasing you gonna be swift too. Your horses, your your cars, mm -hmm. you know. With the turbos and super they ain't gonna do nothing. Mm -hmm. Your helicopters, your airplanes, nothing. Let's go to uh, 31 and verse 1. Almost done, brothers and sisters. Almost done. We're 31 and verse 7. Go ahead, brother John. Verse 7 or 1? Verse 1, I'm sorry. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help uh -huh. and stay on horses mm -hmm. and trust in chariots mm -hmm. because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. Right. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. Mm. Yet he also is wise, and will bring evil, mm -hmm. and will not call back his words, but will arise against the house of the, of the evildoers, and against the help of them that work iniquity. Right. Now the Egyptians are men, and not God. That's right. And their horses flesh, and not spirit. That's right. When the Lord shall stretch out his hand, both he that helpeth shall fall, and he that is helped shall fall down, and they shall all fail together. That's right. For thus hath the Lord spoken unto me, like as the lion and, and the young lion roaring on his prey, when a multitude of shepherds is called forth against him. He will not be afraid of their voice, nor abase himself for the noise of them. Mm -hmm. So shall the Lord of hosts come down to fight for Mount Zion and for the hill thereof. They're going to be screaming, and the Lord said, ain't going to get no pity. Go ahead. As birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Defending also will he deliver it, and passing over he will preserve it. Mm -hmm. Turn ye unto him from whom the children of Israel have deeply revolted. That's right. For in that day every man shall cast away his idols of silver and his idols of gold, which your own hands have made unto you for a sin. That's right. Let's go to Isaiah 57 and verse 1. Isaiah 57 and verse 1. All right, great, Brother John. The righteous perish, and no man layeth it to heart. Mm -hmm. And merciful men are taken away. None considereth that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. See, sometimes when a righteous brother or sister die, it's not yeah. because they did some evil. It's because the Lord don't want them to experience the day That's of right. his wrath. That's right. That's mercy. Go ahead, Brother John. He shall enter into peace. They shall rest in their beds, each one walking in his uprightness. That's right. But draw near hither, ye sons of the sorceress, mm -hmm. the seed of the adulterer and the whore. Mm -hmm. Against whom do ye sport yourselves? Mm -hmm. Against whom make ye a wide mouth and draw out the tongue? Uh -huh. Are ye not children of transgression, a seed of falsehood? Yep. Inflaming yourselves with idols under every green tree, mm -hmm. slaying the children in the valleys under the clefts of the rocks. Mm -hmm. Among the smooth stones of the stream is thy portion. Mm -hmm. They, they are thy lot. Even to them hast thou poured a drink offering. Mm -hmm. Thou hast offered a meat offering. 
Should I receive comfort in these? Nope. Upon a lofty and high mountain hast thou set thy bed, yep. even thither winnest thou up to offer sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Behind the doors also in the post hast thou set up thy remembrance, mm -hmm. for thou hast discovered thyself to another than me, mm. and art gone up. Thou hast enlarged thy bed, right. and made thee a covenant with them. Mm. Thou lovest their bed when thou sawest mm. it. And thou wentest to the king with ointment, mm -hmm. and did increase thy perfumes, mm -hmm. and did send thy messengers far off, and did debase thyself even unto hell. Thou art worried in the greatness of thy way, yet saidest thou not, there is no hope. Thou hast found the life of thine hand, therefore thou was not grieved. That's right. And of whom hast thou been afraid or fear, that thou hast lied, and hast not remembered me? nor laid it to thy heart. Have not I held my peace even of old? And thou fearest me not? Mm. I will declare thy righteousness and thy works, uh -huh. for they shall not profit thee. That's right. When thou criest, let thy companies deliver thee, but the wind shall carry them all away. Mm. Vanity shall take them, but he that putteth his trust in me shall possess the land and shall inherit my holy mountain. Okay, let's skip down to verse 20. But the wicked are like the troubled sea, when it cannot rest, whose waters cast up mire and dirt. There is no peace, saith no peace, saith my God, to the wicked. Let's go to Psalm 145 and verse 18. One verse here. Psalm 145 and verse 18. The Most High said in Isaiah, I'm going to reiterate on this. He said, uh, he said. In verse 13, he said, When you cry, let your companies deliver you, but the wind will carry them all away. That's right. Didn't in John 3, the Most High said, Those that are born again shall be like the wind? That's right. Mm. Isaiah, uh, I'm sorry, Psalm 40, 145, verse 18. Glory, brother John. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, uh -huh. to all that call upon him in truth. That's right. Let's go to Acts 2 and 36. And we got one more after this. Acts 2 and 36. So to the baby Greeks out there, you know, Greek fraternities, sororities, Mason, whatever. All you got to do, if you're not far gone in your head, humble yourself and repent. And start serving the Lord your God in righteousness, in spirit, and in truth. If you endure to the end, the Most High will save you. Amen. That's all you got to do, Amen. right? Amen. And don't hold back. Make your voice like a trumpet and speak against the evils of people, period. It don't matter whether they're Israel or strangers. Speak against evil, period. Don't hold back. Uh, Acts 2 and verse 36. Go ahead, Brother John. Therefore let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God hath made that same Jesus mm -hmm. whom ye have crucified, both Lord and Christ. That's right. Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? Mm -hmm. Then Peter said unto them, Repent, and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, mm -hmm. and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's right. For the promise is unto you, and to your children, and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. That's right. Let's go to the last place, Ecclesiastes 12. And verse 13, and then this is it. <clears throat> See, no matter what evils we have done, the Lord is willing to forgive us. As long as we confess, don't try to hide what you've done that's wicked. Confess it, forsake it, repent, mm -hmm. and believe in the Lord Jesus. Get baptized in, in his name and start walking after God in, in righteousness. Keep his commandments, you know. Don't procrastinate. Don't be lazy. Don't think you got 15 years down the line because the Lord ain't promised that to nobody. Get it done. Like, uh, that what's that comedian? I forget his name. Get her done. Get her done. Yeah. Get her done today. Don't wait. Uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Great, Brother John. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. Yes. For this is the whole duty of man. Mm hmm for God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or 
whether it be evil. That's right. And this will happen. So that's the lesson, House Negroes. I pray we all got understanding. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Excellent lesson. Praise the Lord. Thanks so much for the servants of Israel. An excellent lesson today. Our announcements, we'd like to congratulate Brother Kevin and Brother uh, and Sister Tina for their baptism last week. Praise the Lord. family of God. It's a beautiful thing. Um, man, time seems like forever ago, too. But... Um, <laughs> Uh, we will be doing some outreach in the very near future. Stay tuned for that. We have to, a date coming up on that. Also, a feast is coming up September 30th, Monday, September 30th. If you would like to fellowship with us, uh, it will be much like you saw today um, with our good brother preaching and me reading. And uh, that will be at um, Monday, September 30th. That will be in Columbia. And if you're interested, please send us a note at spiritualisraelcomcast.net or we will be putting stuff on our Facebook page as well. So if you're interested, please let us know. Uh, we plan to have a wonderful feast. In fact, we've got all the remaining feasts of this year planned, and uh, we've got the location. We're going to have some wonderful spir wonderful spiritual food and some very wonderful physical food as well. So amen. amen. Praise God for that. Uh, if you want to make an offering or pay tithes, you may do so at paypal.me forward slash spiritual Israel. If you have any questions, spiritual Israel at comcast.net. Um, other than that, I'd just like to praise the Lord for good fellowship and good in, in sharing his word. Amen. And uh, we will stand and face toward Jerusalem and close out. Our Father which art in heaven, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. As we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. For thine is the kingdom. And the power. And the power. And the glory, and the glory forever. forever. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, God of Israel. Praise the Lord, God of Israel. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you for reading. Amen. My pleasure. Oh,